What's up, everybody? Uh, Six Kill Mafia here. Yo, uh, so real quick, this is an impromptu stream, everybody. Uh, we were going to be on Brother Cousins tonight for best of the best, but his power went out. So he's having a, he's, his power's down. We're not having the stream there. I don't know if everybody's coming. So we're just doing an impromptu chill stream. We'll just hang out with the community right now. It's me, Toku Collector. We're hanging out. I sent invites back to everybody else. We'll see if they come on in. So who knows? Who knows, guys? We're going to go for about, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and 10 minutes, and then we'll wrap. So with that said, uh, let's see who's all up in here tonight. So hey, Fig Fate's up in here. Oh, hell yeah. Glad to see you're streaming tonight. Single songwriter, the element of chaos is always refreshing. Yes, sir. I agree. Primetime reviews up in here. What's up, bud? Tomboy, AJ, whoever shows up, we're here in support. Appreciate that. Brett the movie guy. What's up, bud? Gro uh, goat panel. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just me and, me and Sean right now. Uh, Anthony, you're the real one. Hell yeah, brother. I appreciate that. Moz, you want to come on in here, bro? Uh, it's totally impromptu, too, so I don't really have much discussion right now. Message me on Instagram if you want to come on in, buddy. Um, Lane Kramer, hmm, well, this is kind of pop-up stream. Yeah, we just kind of just kind of happened. Ashley Chase, what up? Kinky Sphinxster, what's up? Yo, what it do? What's up, bud? Uh, Louis Labitz, what's cracking, bro? How you doing, man? Andre is up in here. CT603. Hey guys, uh, Moz, of course, is here. Chris, yo, Blarg, what's up? Ladies man, back in the house. Danny Trail, Laser Machete type, yes. Yes, about future also in, up in here. What's up, hello again. Um, yeah, dude, okay, yeah, let me go ahead and do that here really quick. Um, here, bud, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Moz to come on in here. So like I said, we're just kind of doing right a... You'll be right back. All right, Sean. Um, we're just kind of doing an impromptu stream. Like I said, Brother Cousins, is uh, his power went out. So, unfortunately, we couldn't be doing the best of the best over there tonight. Uh, Fig Fates, what's up, guys? Just got a notification today saying Ahsoka is going to be delayed. And I've reserved some hope it would come before Chinese New Year. Yeah, actually, Fig Fate, that's something I was going to bring up. So, just give me a moment. Uh, Toku had to step away for a minute. And I've got Maz coming in right now. Good to see you, gents. Yeah, good to see you guys. I'm, I'm glad everybody was able to pop in. Like I said, it was kind of uh, impromptu. So, you know, that's what we're doing. Collector Chris, let's do this. Yes, sir. Peacemaker series just came out. I've watched episode one so far, and it's so funny. Uh, is that an anime? If it is, let me know, because I don't know. I haven't seen it. Uh, so I'm not really too sure. What's up? Oz, what's up, bud? You good? Yeah, turn his volume down a little bit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Not a whole lot, man. I got uh, got a mail call today, obviously. Oh, oh, what'd you, what'd you end up getting? Uh, one second. Let me get a little more volume. Sorry, just getting worked out here. No, no, take your time. I know I just kind of threw you in here. This is uh, this this guys. This is some behind the scenes impromptu stuff, right? Not nobody was nobody was ready. Oh, hold up, hold up. I'm a solo. Ha. So he's yeah. in. Yeah, he's gonna. I'm gonna open him. Uh, do a live unboxing on Saturday. I got another. Uh, lens coming in, so I'll be able to live unbox. You know, have this camera pointing at me, and have one dedicated just for the unboxing. So it won't be Ooh. Ooh. Uh, all kinds of weird and stuff. So it sucks. Very I want to nice. open it now, but dude, you know, but, well, then it wouldn't be a live <laughs> unboxing, would it? Exactly, exactly. It, it wouldn't work out. <laughs> no, but, mine, uh, mine is technically in. Um, you know, let me look. Let me look, guys. Let's see where my boba is. Did you Last order yours from Toys Wonderland as well? No, I had, um, I ended up getting it through pop, but okay. I think, let me try to pull up my, my tab here guys really quick and we'll take a quick look because it's been, it's been slow. It's FedEx, but F FedEx is like taking their time. Oh, uh, it, FedEx. <laughs> it departed Alaska. So I don't know if it'll get here tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm, I am, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Uh, okay, Peacemaker's a Suicide Squad spinoff. Okay. Yeah. I did not know that. Today. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this Sweet. is my first order of Toys Wonderland as far as a pre-order goes. So it's been stressful watching them jerk me around. Uh, 
but I got it. Yeah, I saw that last week. I'm talking about all that and everything, and I just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a fan myself of Toys Wonderland, but you know, uh, Gilbert says, "Yo, what's up, guys? I got an email from Sideshow about Miles Morales from Into Spider Verse also being delayed." Ooh, okay. Yeah, I know that we had the Ahsoka in the um, uh, mall. Ahsoka and Maul definitely did. I would bring that up. I'm waiting for Sean to get back. I'm not sure what had happened there. So we'll see. But yeah, uh, so Ahsoka and Maul were delayed. I know that much. And, you know, we saw that. I don't know. Did you see that um, that leaked, a supposed leaked Knights of Ren trailer? No, I remember you, you mentioned earlier today on, on your uh, Boba stream but uh, I didn't go watch it because, again, it's sequel stuff, and I haven't been too interested. So Yeah, I'm not either, but it it looks legit. I mean, just, just out of whether or not it's a, a real thing or not, I think it is a leaked thing. I think they're going to be doing something. I know they, wanna, they were mentioning that they wanted to um, still kind of work in that sequel trilogy environment. I know you, you're probably hearing stuff like that. Um, whether or not it's, you know... Hey, JB, hey, um, good. I didn't see that you were there. JB, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you an invite right now, okay? Because I know you were supposed to be on the panel with us. Excuse me. And um, this is all just kind of impromptu. Uh, yeah, yeah, as, as CT was saying, it, it, yeah, it kind of looks like a video game. Yeah, I, I know. I'm not, I'm not too sure just yet. We're going to have to see how that is. Uh. Collector Chris is wondering though, did Toys Wonderland do a good job with packaging? Um, they 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 covered the whole box in bubble wrap and then they sent it inside another box. I mean, other than that though, I had no other packing material, but it, it got here just in one piece, no squished boxes or anything. So got here pretty well. Nice. Okay. Yeah, usually they do pretty good with packing. Like when I've ordered from them, I never had a problem with it. I just typically don't mess around with them. So yeah. I've ordered other stuff. Just this is the first time I've ever pre-ordered, especially a first batch, and I was a little let down by the first batch of it. You know, <laughs> it's like email tag. You know, every twenty-four hours we'll respond and we'll work out your uh, your order. Right. Uh, about future was wondering: Is this the set from Toys Wonderland that you thought is not coming? Uh yeah. Um, they they ended up shipping it out. Uh, you know, I gave them that day when I I uh, told them. You know, I was like, look, I, I need to see it moving by Monday, and sure enough, it moved by Monday. So I didn't have to hit them again. So no, that's good. That's good. At least you were able to. Because I know I was like, dang, are you not going to get your? You you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, at least it's good that you got yours. Like I said, mine should be here. I don't know. I'm hoping tomorrow. I'm well, hoping good luck tomorrow. To you. I'm yeah, just glad I we mean, got it before the blizzard coming down here, man. Because we got this supposed nor'easter or snowstorm thing coming through this oh. weekend. So, yeah, and everything else is all kind of crazy too with the um, the EMS shipping over overseas, like all the COVID stuffs going on. So they're they're not doing like regular shipping. So everything is like you know what I mean. It's got to be like FedEx or, or 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 DHL or something like that. So. Because I actually just got a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, a candy bar? What is it called? Uh, yeah, so from KG Hobby, I ordered the, um, uh, oh, okay, JB, not a problem, not a problem. Next time we can do that. Yeah, like I said, it was impromptu for that because of the p Brother Cousins power situation. Uh, no, from KG Hobby, I, I forgot I ordered last year the, the Cajun card dealer, the, the oh, Social Toys nice. Gambit. That's and, right. You, I was wondering, I was like, didn't you get that? Yeah, well, so I got an in, I got an invoice from them yesterday, and I was like, "KG Hobby," I'm like, "What the hell is this?" Because I, I totally, I totally forgot, man. And um, it's ready to ship, but they even wrote in in the notice there. They were like, "By the way, uh, my our apologies, but due to COVID, you know, EMS uh, shipping it, it is down. They shut it down. So they they apologize for the increased shipping costs because they have they have no choice. They have to use DHL." Um, so I know there's going to be a slowdown in, in a lot of shipments for right now, un unless, you know, we do pay for the, the, the faster shipping, but even then, like, I don't know what's going on with FedEx. 
Like I said, I'm still waiting for that to get here. So I'm glad you were able to get yours. It's probably there. If it, well, even though my power supply that I'm waiting on is you know with uh, UPS, it's probably with them. It's probably on the same truck because that got mailed last week, and it says it'll be here Friday. And of course, it's now Friday coming up, and <laughs> it's supposed yeah. to be a two day you know shipping charge. And apparently, their idea of two days is is a lot different than mine. Well, maybe uh, maybe everything will just come at once. <laughs> Yeah, whatever's left out. I, I mean, I know I had that happen in October. Gosh, I had like, it was weird. Like, I had like four separate packages from four different, just completely different people. And some were hot toys, some weren't. But then like all on that one day, everything. Remember that, Sean? Like everything just was like boom, 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 boom. Everything just showed up to Early my door Christmas. one day. I know. Well, it was my birthday. It was actually my birthday, if you remember. So it was kind of funny that it was on my birthday, but uh yeah, so you know what? Let me let me just pull this. I mean, we've looked at it a million times, but I guess we can talk about it for a second because I'm sure we all got those emails, right? Well, now I ordered this through my local store, not not through Sideshow, so I haven't gotten an email, but now I know that it's... Okay, well, me. yeah, so we, yeah, well, for those who did have it through Sideshow, I'm sure they got the notices today that Ahsoka has been delayed. Push back to miles. February, March. I got the miles notification though. So you had miles as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I know that mall is as well. Solo mall. So okay. yeah, nothing really, you know, out of the ordinary on that one. I mean, I think we were expecting her a lot sooner, bro, but yeah, kind of a disappointment, kind of a disappointment. Maz, you are everywhere. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, this is Maz's first time when we're up on our stream. I've, I've oh, changed nice. him, obviously, you before, but it's like we had an impromptu, and it was like, hey, you know what? We have time. We got stuff going on, or, you know, let's just roll it. Uh, Lane I was just says, watching well, my I mean, buddy's stream, you know, March. Uh, the photography stuff, and I was like, all right, sure, I'll come on. Why not? Yeah, I mean, you know, we figured what the hell, like, right now, I mean, there's there wasn't much. Like I said, we were going to be on Brother Cousins. I don't have anything planned, guys. So it's just like we're just shooting the shit. I sent out some invites. If people want to come in and just chat it up with us. That's what we're going to do for about an hour. Figure we can chat with the community, see what's what. Um, yeah, Elaine said I have not gotten a delay email yet, which I'm surprised by. This was updated on their site like January 2nd. Well, I don't know about the site itself, but I know I was getting emails and other people were today. I don't really frequent Sideshow as much as I would like to admit, maybe. I do go there, but I don't like constantly keep looking at, at figures. So I, sometimes I don't even know myself. Uh, and then all these these emails come out. So you know what I mean? But that's a good I thing is to mention in that is because like, is this just Sideshow's delay or is the figure delayed entirely from Hot Toys? Right. See, that that's a good question. So they could, they could have, excuse me, delayed it themselves due to shipping or anything like that. And then maybe, maybe they're still scheduled for Hong Kong earlier release, you, you know, but then that kind of throws out the whole theory, right? That, that they were going to do a simultaneous release. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Uh, Collector Chris Wonder, do you guys think there will be any 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back figures after Luke later this year? Mm. I think we got all we're gonna get for 40th anniversary Empire. I'm 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 gonna so. I'm gonna be in the same boat with you, Moz. I doubt we're yeah. gonna get a, a Bespin Han. No, no. no. You know. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I could think of is maybe like a uh Chewbacca or maybe Chewbacca C three PO two pack. Dude, I would but, I would jump on that in a heartbeat. That's that's exactly. that's the version of that that I want. Um Yeah. Dude, come on now. I, that would be sweet, man. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah Craig, see what you were saying? She's coming out of down. She's supposed to be. Like, everybody, like, from what I've been told, Ahsoka's ready. She's been done. Uh, Solo Mall, I heard the same thing. Those guys are ready to go. So I'm not really sure what the hell is probably going on. on He's probably stuck on a boat, and, and Hong Kong is just waiting for Sideshow to get it. And if they're doing simultaneous. Right. Uh, so, Nightmare, I'm not sure if they're on a lockdown. I know I know that EMS shipping's down. I should message a couple of my friends over there to see what's going on, but I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it with this, this current surge. So it's mm -hmm. just been kind of 
This is all just just I just want all this stuff to go away, guys. <laughs> you know. Uh does it seem Hot Toys has way too much on their plate? Yeah. Yeah. I think they do. I don't think they I anticipated think, Yeah, the they were on a hype of the train Disney shows. And well that and you know, people just wanting over the past two years because they had nothing else better to do. So they would just sit home, watch the shows, and then the release of these figures. But I think what it is is they did a lot, but then once they reached the goal, they realized it was too much for what was pulled back with the change in shipping and all the recent uh, new like lockdown laws that they have to do when it comes to all this stuff. So they 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 were running fast from the beginning, but they were um, not ready for the long haul. I think. Yeah, I don't I don't think they were either. I mean, because here we got Mall. Who's now m March to May? Oh wow, like, that's even further than uh, than yeah, the Miles is. That is much further, man. That is much further. So Miles I don't know. February, March, I think. Yeah, and now I mean, w w so I look at the back end of things, and when the back end says May, I'm thinking May. Like they don't even like you know. I mean, in si in sideshows case, right? Like they are always like the latest of like typically if they're like hey ships in january february we usually don't see that shit till like march april like they're always yeah. you, you know so i don't know so so lane is saying supposedly there's a rumor that uh, i guess he's talking about mall's head sculpt is being worked on and i really hope so because i don't want the the solo mall head sculpt on a you know i know mall. and that's that's what we were saying earlier too bro like this sculpt it's just completely wrong for clone wars entirely they at least give us the young one from the dx 16 17 don't don't give us a dx 18 head sculpt like this yeah because doesn't this look like it i've been saying it for months that, that this is, is basically head sculpt. solo the, that is the dx 18 head sculpt yeah i have you know both of them and i can tell you for sure that's exactly what that is that's what i was thinking because i have him too i have solo Maul, and I, as soon as i saw the picture i was like uh what the hell yeah, because Clone Wars so Maul's got a longer face, and, and I know they're not going to go and give us the nice animated look that I want, but right. uh, they're gonna they're gonna they should at least give us the Phantom Menace look, uh, where he's younger, because that at least gives it a little bit of length to it and less weight in the cheeks. So yeah, no, I agree, I agree, and then it would be, then it would, it it would like you were saying it would look the part. It wouldn't quite be that animated version that we want, but it would. Definitely not be this, because I I'm with you, man. I swear this is solo. So maybe Lane, maybe maybe there's some truth to that, Lane. Uh, well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, and and like H Green saying, yeah, his face is much thinner in Clone Wars. So that doesn't look good to me because I again I have Solo Mall and it's just like, dude, come on. So you're right. Like that's that's Solo. I mean, that's Solo Mall, man. I don't know if they just slap that on there as a placeholder. I'll be fine with that if, they, if, they're, if they're doing that. But yeah, I really don't want the head sculpt to come with that piece. I really don't. No. I already bought that figure. Right. I, it, exactly. We already bought that. So, hey, man, come on. We don't We don't want to do that. I need to write, start rioting for animated look. Anyone got to tell their hands about copy that for issue 46? Hey, you know what? For what it's worth, I know Sideshow's doing an animated Obi-Wan and... and uh, and Anakin. I don't know how that's show. That's a dirty word in that sentence. I know. Well, you know, some of their stuff's not bad. I mean, some of it's not bad. I know it's not hot toy level, but well, you got to look at it on there's... the side of both coins. Is sideshow? They have some good figures that come out. Most of them, not so much. But same thing with hot toys. Hot toys is normally phenomenal, but there's some that don't hit the mark either. So neither one is perfect. But yeah, the sideshow is more of the not hitting the mark. Than, exactly than yeah, so that, that's that's why you really want to showcase that the hot toys and be like hey you know there's a space here that you can do because if hot toys did like animated the looking ones those would go fast because that's what people would connect with when it comes with the clone war shows is that that animated look i'm probably going to order the sideshow ones uh to be honest with you um because that's all i can get especially if they make an ahsoka because that would be the the head sculpt I want for Ahsoka. I know they they try to incorporate Ashley's look into this Ahsoka, and there's also talks that they might just scrub that and do Rosario for even the young young Ahsoka. 
I I want the toy. I, I want the I want the cartoon face. I don't I don't want these these faux faces of either of these other two actors. If I want the Clone Wars Ahsoka, I want the Clone Wars animated style face with it. Yeah, that would be pretty dang cool. To be honest, but I, I I mean I get I like I mean I could bring it back up. I'm we've seen it. Let me where's she at? I think I still have her. I mean the the sculpt. Look, and that's the other thing. I don't understand what people are talking about. I think people are just talking, but people are saying like they're going to be changing her sculpt. And I think that's just a rumor. I think this, this sculpt looks great as it is. I don't think it needs changing at all. Personally. I see what you're saying though. Like they were trying to go with, you know, the, the, the clone wars look, you know, from the show, but I don't think this needs to be changed. I mean, this is the first pictures we've seen. Right. And I think it looks sweet. Yeah, there's something just off. I think it's just her expression, maybe that just bugs me. Well, she, me you know, Hot Toys does kind of have that 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 kind of dead stare a lot of times. Hey, Big Fade, anyone here hasn't already done so? Smash that like button and subscribe. Once the Skill Mafia hits thousand subs, he's giving away IG Eleven. I am, I am, I am. If you guys aren't subs already, please do so. Uh, and check out Moz as well. I don't have yeah, your I'm, link, I'm, but. I'm like right there. I'm like like twenty away from a thousand right now, but uh, I have nothing to give away. So, oh, you know, you don't need to give to you. You're only twenty away. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I'd have to look to be sure, but I'm like I think at nine seventy something. Shit. Well, I mean, we got forty two watching. Go to Moz's toy box, man. I bet you you can get a thousand right now. Let me, let me, dude. You know what? Let me check it out. Hold on a second, guys. Brother's cousin toy review started a live video. On Instagram. I, okay, he's probably saying because his power's out, and then we're over here. Because um, wow. we were supposed to be best of the best tonight, but like I guess his his power went out. His, his circuit blew, and uh, yeah, so we're just kind of doing an impromptu, guys, right now. Hey, look, here it is in chat. Maz's toy box needs twenty six subscribers to hit the thousand. Yeah, thanks. Links so in the chat. On it. Uh, the right click doesn't work on your little YouTube icon to open another window. It actually just says like, "Hey, let's look at your picture instead." I'm like, "Ah, <laughs> I don't want to well, lose." Nine seventy four, twenty six more subs. You're at a thousand, bro. All right, you're at nine seventy eight. Wow, thanks guys, appreciate it. Yep, I'm gonna refresh it. Go sub to Moz real quick, guys. If you're in here, you're not already subbed to him. Let's get him to a thousand. Give away my two pack. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll give that... away my Ellen Ripley while I'm at it. Why don't we? Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah man i do because i know the girl i just i'm close i'm in i'm in 800s myself so i i know i i know how that's got to feel man you're like almost to your thousand buddy yeah, just, so just there but uh hell yeah though very close dude awesome people just joined subscribed thank you guys very much moz does some cool content over there man so i definitely appreciate i got a live stream we'll get him there night, which apparently Inadvertently competes with six scale, uh, six scale cantina. But, uh, yeah, I know it's unfortunate. We always somehow have. I mean, that's just the community, man. It's kind of rough. We all have. Uh, everybody streams or has content, and everybody's great content. So I, I know it's bound to happen. But I mean, everybody checks it out, and I, I think everybody appreciates all the content that everybody puts out. But sometimes it's just exactly nine hundred eighty, nine hundred eighty wow, miles. Guys, thank you, thank you so much. You are very but, uh, close. All Tuesdays, everybody in chat here is summing up, saying they're subbing. Yeah, Tuesdays I, I do well, a photography this stream. Just, just so you know, I do a stream about photography now. We started doing that on Tuesdays, so something a little different. That's right. Still talking about with toys, you know, toy photography. So, hell yeah, that's actually a really. We were talking about that, that was a really good idea. So you're doing. You're doing streams about photography, and you're okay. having other like Instagram people. Uh, yeah, although more this, Instagram. this coming week, it looks like I might not have the guests that I wanted, so I'm kind of scrambling if I'm going to have a guest at all this coming week. Um, the guest that I want is like, I can't do it this week, but next week. So I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, so we'll see. And uh, you guys, if you see the, the Funko Pop 1,000 subscriber thing, ignore that. Those Funko Pops are long gone. <laughs> <laughs> I sold them oh, when, I, when I needed money for Hot Toys. I was like, you know what? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, OG's fan when Star Wars is just Star Wars. What's up? But yeah, in case you just popped in, um, yes, 
We're, we were kind of talking about that right now, actually. Ahsoka and Maul have been delayed. Ahsoka's pushed to, um, what was that, February, March? Is that what that said here? Yeah. February to March, yeah. and Solo Maul was pushed March to May. And Miles Morales is uh, February, March as well. That's right. You were saying that's right. Yeah, and Miles, the Into the Spider-Verse, Miles yeah. Morales has the been pushed. With my beautiful Spider-Gwen that I can't stop taking pictures of. Dude, she looks so good. She looks so good. But the thing is, is I've kind of, I've pulled out. I've pulled out of Marvel. But mm -hmm. she's she still a Spider-Man. Spider. I do have, mm -hmm. I know. Oh, she's gorgeous. I, know. I love her, man. My newest pose yeah. that I shot just today, actually. Was there. You know, I'm, I'm not going to get her to stand up like this for you guys, but. She's standing, you know, just like that. Just kind of let me try to move my. Oh yeah. But she can she can balance just like that too. I mean, I'll have to fiddle with it to get it back, you know, on there. But right, but she'll she'll be able to just just chill yeah, with ease like that's that. That's how she was. You're just standing there without the base or anything. Just. So. Yeah, fuck, man, you making me want to get her. I, I I was I was wanting to get her, but it's just it's it's rough because I'm so deep in Star Wars and there's a lot of Star Wars stuff coming right now as well and. I'm just sticking with to get her. Spider Verse for Marvel and Loki. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Loki. Uh, fairly certain we'll get a Django and Clone Wars Anakin before Ahsoka or Maul. Y y here's the thing. It, you bring up an interesting point, in it, and I think that w due to the Book of Boba Fett going on right now and how we keep having um, these flashbacks in the, in the show with, with, uh, with uh, Django... <laughs> You know what I mean? I think, and since Django's pretty much ready, he's he's scheduled for this release anyway. I think he's coming like right before the show ends, or right after the show ends, and maybe, maybe that's why they've pushed the other stuff back. I don't know. I don't know, but I think he's coming. I think he's definitely coming. Yeah, uh, no, it's the, the trickling that they put into the show. It has to be. Yeah. Um. Let me get the name of the poster frames. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's wondering, yeah, what the poster light boxes are, and subscribed. Uh, yeah, I love you. those. Yeah. Um, where's the window? I lost you guys. Um, oh my god, go away. Where is? I got too many windows. I got three monitors here. It's Take really your bad. time, but this is all impromptu, everybody. We're just kind of. Uh, yep. This is a just a winging it kind of having a fun situation right now. Fortunately. All right, Lewis, lucky was the able... name of the manufacturer in the chat here. There you go. That's uh, who I ordered them from. And I actually got a second one free because the first one came in damaged. <laughs> oh, wow. The power supply nice. was bad. And they're, they're, I was like, expecting them to just send me a new power supply. And they're like, we're sending you a whole new frame. <laughs> I'm like, well, then I'll go on to Amazon and buy a new power supply. And have two right. Might as well. <laughs> Soul Nightwear is lucky. was able to get that Mark 47 from Waitlist. Nice. 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 Dude, hell yeah. I, I only have uh, one. It, 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 isn't it a great feeling when you get that waitlist notification? And you're like, "Ooh, yeah, it does happen, guys. It does happen. Believe me. Uh, don't open Maz's Instagram. You'll force a buyer. I know. I know. Dude, those pictures are sweet, man. I, I, I want her, but I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. What is Neil? Just wait for Spider Verse Two to come out. I know. I know we'll probably get a, a real like 2099 and Spider-Man Noir. But I don't think they'll well, give you another Gwen. I don't think her costume has changed enough. And given how little they fed us from this last movie, I don't yeah. think gonna, I don't think they're going to read, you know, double down on a figure that barely pre-ordered, you know, sold. Unless somehow they give us a Spider Gwen. I mean, a a, a, a Gwenum. Like a <laughs> Now see that that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. And of course, I'm be just excited sweet. because I heard that they might be doing the Japanese Tohei Spider-Man in that film. And you know me, Anthony. I will buy that in a heartbeat. Oh hell yeah! I know you would. Mm -hmm. I know you would. Mm -hmm. um, I want the '70s Spider-Man, the one that yeah. didn't get the call, man. The, the, yes. The poor guy. Yeah, you just yeah. He, <laughs> Nobody called like, me. What, what happened with him? I know. I could just hear uh, that theme in my head every time, man. That bam, 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 yep. bam, <laughs> every time he's just the, the, the jump, shit. the jump cuts, and like every like action scene. That was hell my yeah. Spider-Man. You guys are all like Toby, this, Toby, that. No, no. The no, 70s no, no. one was my Spider-Man. No, yeah, 70s yes, was ours, old. too. That shit was great. Uh, Heck, man, I Chris still remember that made for... Go ahead. Real quick, do you think 
uh, Hot Toys C-3PO R2-D2 2-pack will ever see it. You would think, right? Like, you would think that would be the go-to Hot Toy 2-pack. You would think. Yeah. But, uh, but we still I mean, they didn't even give R2 with Luke when they when they gave us Mandalorian Luke, and he was there yeah. clear as day with Luke in the Mandalorian, right. and they're like, here's here's a extra uh, dark trooper or whatever, uh, but no R2. <laughs> Yeah, I just, we'll see. I hope to God we do. Uh, hey, I'm on the wait list for vintage Boba Fett for the last year. Hey, don't give up hope, man. Don't give up hope. I mean, you he know. He actually wait listed when I went to buy one because I wasn't, you know, I was just buying Mando. In fact, I had just gotten into Star Wars because of Mando. And uh, so I went and tracked him down. I found him on another site that hadn't sold him out yet. Am- uh, Amok Time, they still had him. So that's why I went. He'd already gone waitlist on Sideshow, but uh, I found him, I think, for 300 on Amok Times' website. Oh, that's not bad. That's not no, bad. No, it was like $20 more, I think, than what he sold for. So, yeah. I think we have a new stream title in the works, Impromptu. <laughs> hey, you know, it was just, it was, again, you know, we're supposed to be on Brother Cousins tonight for Best of the Best. If you guys don't already subscribe to Brother Cousins, his links should be in. Well, if it's not in here, because this is just an impromptu, I just kind of threw it up. But on my channel, everybody's there. Go check him out. Uh, his power went out tonight, so unfortunately, well, the stream didn't, you know, we couldn't stream. So here we are yeah. kind of just winging it and just, you know, having some fun and whatnot. So uh, just ordered Captain Rex today as well. Avoided the NRD from pre-order. Lucked out that it wasn't sold out. Rex yeah. is sweet. Rex, Rex is, is sweet. a nice one. Yeah. I miss Cody, but I got Rex. But then again, I always just fight it like I didn't really care about Cody. It's like Rex was always in the show. Cody was sometimes in the show. You know, it's just right. Like- <laughs> Ma's been trying to talk to me into buying Gwen too. Yeah, dude, I I get it. I get it. I mean, she's really, she's really impressive looking. She was my number hey. one figure this year. I mean, of twenty twenty one, she is my number one figure. Wow, really? She's wow. very just so poseable. So I mean. She's small, but she just demands the attention. When you're looking down the shelf, you're like, man, look at her. You know, just like, wow. Right. Well, I I would have to I would have to have her to know, right? Because I think my number one was really a toss up. It was oddly enough, it was it's either Ray from Rise of Skywalker or Venom. I don't know if I can choose a number one, but they're definitely up there. And I'm not even a big fan of the sequels, but that figure, that Ray is amazing. Yeah, I don't have uh, Oh, dude, they're sweet, man. They really are. Uh, Ray comes with so much stuff. Uh, stoked to see your Gal Geiger on your top shelf. Yeah. So, what, did you just grab him? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we can check it out. Uh, haven't even took him out. Oh, you got another camera there. There we go. Uh, OG, I just got 15 minutes ago trying to cook for everyone watching this while I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. One six. Oh, this is Will. Dude. Oh, hey, Will. Is Will up in here? I'm just trying to go through through chat. Will, get your ass in here, bro. Come on, man. I'm I'm drowning over here without you. Come on in, bro. We're gonna stream for like another half hour, and then hey, and then, and then okay, we're gonna dip out. No, that's not fair, Maz. That's not fair. Oh, at two oh nine, I saw your pictures, Maz. That shit was dope. Did you not hook up with that link? You're not buying it. No, I, I, I know. I, I, I dude, oh, I, if I could get it, I, I, I would need. get it. It, yeah, but you I could hook him up it, for the link it. that he wanted to. Wouldn't he on that stream? And yeah, yeah, I know. If, if we had, they were both broke. He's still up there for four fifty, <laughs> I think. I saw that. Brand I new saw, in the box. I know. I know. I hope Hot Toys releases that two pack someday. I just unboxed my sideshow C three PO, and it's pretty awful and cheap feeling to me. Yeah, uh, dude, I want a, I want a Hot Toys C three PO. I agree. This is all chaos here, guys. I am trying my best. I apologize. This was totally not planned. Uh, <laughs> I got vintage color off wait list with two days of being listed. Nice. I have my vintage. I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'm dying without Will. Will needs to come on in here. So do you, Mario. Uh, I know you're busy, guys. Uh, Why is Mars pulling everything out that now. I want? But I just, uh, I just... Both of these are still available brand new. Ask, uh, they are. ask Mafia where, where I sent him the links from. And Gwen fell Did this dude shelter. just really just say that I'm a... You know what, Will? I have, I'm have i seeing chat over here, and I'm going through chat over here. This guy. This guy. Yeah. 
Oh man. Uh, to be honest, I have a two pack on throne. Four of us can't let one slide away. <laughs> Uh, what's the best helmet stand to get? Anything someone should know before buying. For a helmet stand, you know what I have on my helmets? These are paper towel rolls. The uh, paper towel yes. holders. Good, good deal. Paper towels. Because you can pick them up for like 15, 20 bucks. And if you get all the same ones, it just, it looks, it looks really nice. Uh, Anthony lives right. Come on, Will. Man, man, Will just better. Will not even going to come in here. He's just going to, he's going to taunt and talk his trash in the chat. <laughs> I know I'm not a, I'm not a big Ray fan. I know I know you're a big sequel fan, but I do like that figure. I do like that figure, guys. My Rise of Skywalker Ray is awesome. I like the older Gwen from the upcoming movie. Ooh, Terminator. Please. Those uh, are definitely maybe like a half hour. I, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna try to roll for like another forty minutes or so because I know Lael's gonna do his uh, stream with Mario. Um, probably about forty five minutes. So I'll probably dip out of there just uh just coast on by. I, it just depends. Depends on how it's going here. Louis Lebitz, what's up, Will? I know Will, come on in. Dying yeah, Will, come Will? on in, man. Jeez. I know. I just want Will to come in do a little El cameo. Oh man, what's up, Mario? I know. Well, Mario's Mario's predisposed right now, but I I know Will ain't doing nothing because he's got time to chat in here. Uh, so come Gilbert, on in, buddy. Uh, she's seems really <laughs> solid, dude. This is a great suit on her oh she just fell off the stand because i nud I, I hit the uh i hit the shelf when i was picking up ed oh. over. So okay so you know what you know what what up, Whoa, boys? What's up, yeah. What's up, dude? I'm here, bro. I got the tank top showing off the women? guns. Is that what you said? And everything for the ladies, bro. <laughs> Shit. You but you didn't Ooh. you didn't recognize my wooing ability on women, so I'm here to defend my honor. All right, defend your honor. <laughs> defend your honor. <laughs> okay. Um, how are you doing this evening? The dating apps, bro. Damn it. Honest, no, honestly, I haven't really been on that much lately, but I'm I'm doing good, man. I just I probably not feeling that great because I just down two hot dogs, but. Ooh. <laughs> it depends on which type of hot dogs that's true i was I actually going to get into that what did you put on the hot dogs i'm sure see, everybody in the chat wants to know see usually i do ketchup but i was feeling lazy i didn't really feel like squirting it on the hot dog so i just went ahead and just ate them ate them plain mayonnaise always put mayonnaise on mayonnaise on wait so you just ate two plain hot dogs well like, you put them on the hungry? bun you put them on the bun didn't you know? <laughs> well, oh, wait, it's still you, plain. wait 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 you tell me anthony you never just like ate a cold bar as hot dog because you were hungry, <laughs> there was nothing else in the refrigerator nah dude i throw that shit at least on a pan even if the microwave didn't work <laughs> but i, I would take them and throw them on a piece of bread without bun if you don't have buns yeah i might oh, yeah, just oh, yeah, fold I've done a piece that. of bread yeah. and you know you literally turn on, the, the, the hot dog into a taco with that yeah absolutely hell yeah when you get real desperate you know what you do you or like we get real desperate Mario. if you have some tortilla wraps lying around i just put some mm -hmm. cheese in a tortilla wrap yeah. eat it in the microwave it tastes pretty good it. yeah you no know, you take oh so you so you guys take the tortillas put it in the oven throw it on broil put the cheese on top of it let yep. it bubble and oh. then throw on like some hot sauce let it cook yeah. on broil for like five minutes dude i didn't think about the oven guys. yeah that's smart just some shredded yeah, no, cheese. Just toss it on the tortilla. Yeah, roll. it's a little shredded cheese, I, bro. It's so good. I just throw it on my like quick little um like now um, we're talking about food, maker. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I just put it on there, heat it up, and it just melts the cheese, and I'm good to go. See? Yeah. Sure, well, that. hell, we all gotta eat, right? So <laughs> where do, uh, Anthony, by the way, sorry to interrupt, but Maz has gotta yeah. tell me where he got those lighted posters. He did. He put a link in the in the chat, but I'm oh, sure shit. I'm sure we'll 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 talk to Mazu. I need a yeah. link directly in my inbox. <laughs> a link uh, directly to the inbox. Funny story Please, is Maz, actually the, the manufacturer for this was just a sponsor on my Insta my uh my my Facebook feed. No way. Like, oh, oh. Let me check that out. <laughs> yeah. So so Maz, is it or do you just get normal posters and then put them in the frame and it lights it, or how's that work? They're what LED like frames. Yeah, they're LED. Oh, they're LED, they're frames. digital. Can you change the poster inside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, is the um, poster a physical poster or is it like a digital poster? Yeah, oh, yeah, they're I mean. physical movie. They're actual movie posters. They're physical posters. Okay. They're, they're legit movie posters. So, so they just have like one. the LEDs like rimmed into the frame to like illuminate it? No, it's fully backlit with LED. Oh, okay. So it's backlit. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Um, cool. Real quick, Fig Fate, do you think we'll ever see a Hot Toys Padme or is that ship sailed? Mm. I, I, I mean, I'm going to never say never. Jango took forever. Yeah. Took forever until he got finally released. So, 
or announced. I mean, if, if they gave us if they give us a Jane Foster Thor, and they don't give us a Padme, that's true. There's going to be some problems. <laughs> yeah. uh, agreed. So real quick before I get to more chat, guys. So Link was in the chat. I'm going to put it Link in one more time, guys. Moz is now at 988 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you. That means to 12 people. 12 people, 41 in here. Link in chat. You can do it. Yeah, I already Go subscribed. subscribe to Moz if you haven't. Let's those, get him to 1,000 tonight. The impromptu stream. See what happens when you have an impromptu stream? But uh, Things come true. Toku, man, hit up hit up Six Scale because I gave him a link to where you can buy both of those Robocop figures at pretty much retail. Brand new. And if he's oh, not going to do I it, he should, he should share it with you. He should share it with I you. Heard I did share it with him. I heard about that. No, yeah. no he yes. did. And I really Will's need to look at my finances good. and see if I can. But absolutely, because those are a must for me. Like, I watch at least Robocop once a year. I go through the whole Robocop you gotta, you gotta, 1, 2, and unfortunately 3, and the um, old live action series that barely anyone remembers. There's a Spielberg remembers. director's cut uh, coming out in March. Ooh. It's got really? a director's cut. Ooh. On there, it's a four K steelbook. That's how they get Look you. On you Amazon, bought the movie, oh, yeah. but you buy it again. Mm -hmm. I know exactly. they double dip, bro. Triple dip, dude. I just did that with the, the Ghostbusters collection, man. Because uh, they get that really? whole collector's edition one coming out, with, like with one, two, <laughs> and Afterlife. And I already own all of those, but I've ordered it again because now it's got a screener cut of the first Ghostbusters. It was not, you know, the actual cut that we we've all seen. It's a screener cut. I wouldn't say mm. a director's cut. But it was like, oh, I will okay. say that. Right. Was, Yes, yeah, sorry, and I was just gonna say like um the the poster you have behind you, Afterlife. I really like that movie a lot. Really like. Oh it. yeah, yeah. It was really it. great. And I'm not the biggest fan of the originals, to be honest. And that's kind of heresy. Like I've only seen the first one. Like <gasps> I thought it was good, but like it wasn't like I was going crazy over it, you know. But um I'm not as much. I don't have as much to style. And I was born in '91, so you know it. You know, it's probably it's a little a bit before my time, but you know, but it's still it's still uh it was still good. But the new one I actually liked even more. So the new the one felt modernized, one? but or the afterlife one when you see new afterlife, one. sorry. <laughs> okay. Not 2016. That one is atrocious. That okay. one is Yeah, that was not good. Yeah, it's yeah. and some of the actors in it I think are really talented, but the movie is awful. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was just the pacing, the writing. It was, yeah. Yeah. As I'm trying to get through chat uh for you guys real quick, but let me just crab real quick. Mr. JB, what kind of cases do you have? I'm actually these are custom built. So he, I get a yep, lot of questions made those on that. Ourselves. Yes, I am going to make a video on it soon. Sean, you helped Anthony make those? Yeah. He did. Dude, that's sick. Dude, that's rocking right there, man. Did you do Yes, sir. What are they they look kind of Maji case like? So they do look kind of Maji case, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so well, I guess real quick I can I'll I'll do a quick brief rundown. These are garage shelves, right? Six feet by I've three feet. I've seen that. I've seen people do that. Okay. But what I did was I've seen people do some things, but I wanted to do my own thing similar yeah. you know um so i bought white acrylic that's the most expensive i think because it's you know it's also six by three white acrylic and i velcroed them under the back then i installed 48 spotlights <laughs> so that took a while yeah. uh and i wrote and i you know run the wires through everything i spray painted the shelves black um essentially yeah, everything's velcroed on all the sides so what you do is you velcro the acrylic on each side you double you double velcro so oh. on the for example the white acrylic in the back is velcroed on it and then there's velcro on the back of the case so that you just velcro it on does that make okay. sense that's smart yeah so now the sides are clear acrylic and then the front same but i don't have those on right now and then you velcro you velcro all four sides so that velcro is super thick bro it's it's like it's it's sealed and then if you need to get in your oh, case, no. you just kind of shimmy it a little bit, you know what I mean? And then just rip the Velcro down. So Sean's are in. like that too. Uh, That's yeah, where Sean, you got uh, the idea from. Yeah, Sean's are <laughs> like that. But, but he, yeah. he, Sean's the he just has the shelves though. Yeah. No, he but got the idea the from me, but then he he just started going full force. Like I was doing it, but then I just um, basically, I, I got my detox that I, I got in behind me. So I stopped that project and just went to the detox right now. Mm. Yeah. Maz, All you right. had to flex on us, man. I love that endo. I don't have one. I love it. Maz has so many uh, freaking badass figures, dude. Mm. Look, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Link again one more time in the chat. Maz's channel. He only needs five more subscribers. That's it, dude. You're at 995, bro. Dude. 
So close. Okay. It's going to happen tonight. Five probably. more subscribers. Mazel hit his thousand. Oh, let's it. take a look and see. Uh, I meant to tell you guys, I did something. I made an exchange tonight. Oh. <laughs> Will without the jacket. I know. I told him I feel naked without the jacket. Um, <laughs> but uh, so you remember, how I, I think, I don't know if you guys had seen, I did an unboxing on Iron Studios Mando quarter scale. So oh, you did do it. I I'll sold let you it. Continue. Yeah. So, yeah, because I really liked that. I bought, I paid eight fifty ship for it from spec uh, a while back. I got it a while back, and uh, I had it for a while. And I, I do really like it, but I saw it started to climb on the aftermarket, and I was like, eh, I'm monitoring this. Like, I kind of need space and money right now. So I was like, let's sell it. So I got eight hundred cash, and the Darth Maul was Sith Speeder Hot Toys. So that's Dude. about twelve fifty. I was like, I'll take that. So, Hell you know, boxing yeah. it up, boxing it, selling statues is not fun. <laughs> Let's just say that. No. Because boxing no. it back up. And like, I watched an unboxing video, mine and another one, to figure out where everything went. Hot Toys, man. Selling Hot Toys is a lot easier. Let's just say that. <laughs> Mr. JB, I just read your comment, buddy. <laughs> oh. I am trying, sir. I'm trying to get with everybody. Uh, Will, that is a badass deal, dude. You I was took, happy. I made a little bit of money on, on it. it. 1K yeah. is coming, Moz. It's coming. Where's you know Moz what? at right now? I'm going to check. I, I'm, 996. I'm just four to, uh, four more. you guys tonight. I appreciate it, man. This, no, of this course. Happened. Four more subscriptions. That's it's it. It's going to happen. It'll yeah. happen tonight. I do want to make a comment, though, on, on these older figures. One thing that I noticed when I first started collecting Hot Toys, I wasn't buying all the pre-orders and stuff. I bought nothing but old figures. Like I bought my, my first... Pre-order one that was actually I bought when it was still new was uh, the Wolf Heavy Heavy Infantry from Hot Toys, the Predator. But mm -hmm. I didn't pre-order him. I just yeah. bought him outright. He was like just come out of pre-order. But I didn't chase down all the all the stuff, the old stuff that was still thankfully not that expensive yet. Because I think none of my Predators were more than four hundred dollars. And you look now, they're all over four hundred dollars plus. So it was one of the things that I, I'm pretty thankful for that I bought a lot of the older stuff before I got bogged down with a whole bunch of pre-orders um because pre-orders are eating me alive right now they're like little yep. eating me um yep but just something as a new collector that was very i think actually a pretty good thing that i got these out of the way first you know the stuff that was you know robocop was still on big bad toy store when i bought mine that, that that's not where i bought him from but he was still there so just give you an idea I'm feeling that, man, because I missed out on a lot mm -hmm. of that cool stuff, man. I'm unsubscribing when Mod hits a thousand and then subscribing again. <sighs> Just kidding. The only figure <laughs> I had to pay out the ass for was DX13 Terminator. Um, I wish because, I bought him. Yeah, because I wasn't collecting Mods at the time, so I had to go back, and I knew I just had to have that figure. Like I'm a huge Terminator, Terminator One and Two. I actually like Terminator Genesis. It's not great, but I, it's Arnold, so I yeah. like it. So yeah, it could but, be uh, worth. T1, yeah, T1 yeah, and T2. It wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah, T1 and T2. I actually, funny enough, though, I've not seen the new one because I heard such bad things about Dark Fate. So I was like, uh, I'm just going to stay away. But the best part is so Carl's good. Draperies. And then the rest of it, you can just kind of <laughs> right, tune out. Easy like company collectibles, dude. I'm here for sleeveless men. Well, I'm wearing a shirt today. Easy. Do you want to come in here? Are you bored? He asked you want to come in here and message me if you so, do. You know, hmm. Message me if you do, Easy. <laughs> but uh, Will, yeah. to your point, though, I, I actually, when I went with the Terminator from T2, I ended up going with a DX10 because he had full oh. leather. I didn't want that oh, leather. So, okay. hey, Moss, you're, you're, you're at nine. You're at nine nine nine. Oh, okay. and I'm oh, going like to some and, Fantasy and, damage. And, and I'm going to click subscribe right now to bring that to one thousand. Oh, oh, look at you! Oh, it in my one thousand, baby. Oh my God! Oh, thank you, guys. There thank you. it wow, is. Wow, hold on. Awesome. There go <laughs> you. There you go, Will. Okay. Thank you. Thank there you it is, much. guys. One thousand. Subscribers, one K. Congratulations! Now I just gotta get the watch time up, and then I can maybe <laughs> buy you guys prizes and stuff. Well, hey. those six-hour live streams are gonna help you, man. That's gonna get your watch time <laughs> way up. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, Markler May is right. Is that am I saying that right? If your house was on fire, and you've each got only time to grab one collectible to save, what would it be? Oh, that is a good Ooh. question. What about you, Sean? We'll start with you. A I don't farm. know, man. I have a lot. Uh, you can only get one. I really don't know. I mean, it would definitely have to be something that's like my old collection. Like, it has to be probably like original Power Rangers. Like, these guys are fine and all, but 
you could still find these eventually. Um, yeah, that's hard. I mean, I really can't pick and choose. I think I'll first just get myself and my cat out. But uh, <laughs> yeah. probably... Yeah, we're, we're assuming my... the pets are safe already, right? And right, safe. everybody's safe. Exactly. You can only get safe. one thing. I'm just, I'm just seeing me running out like uh, Pee Wee Herman. Um, <laughs> I would have to say oh, my uh, uh, original original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord. We're talking about toys only, right? Well, Not just collectibles. <laughs> yeah, PlayStation 5. <laughs> No, oh, I'm just making sure. Cause... No, no, it's a good question. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, if it was Hot Toys only, like six scale stuff, I would have to say probably my end game, uh, end game cap. <laughs> easy. Well, you, well easy, easy life easy's right. You stay and burn with this plastic. Just order them again from the goes down with the ship. <laughs> uh, no, no, no captain. Hell yeah. Go, no ship should go down without a captain. That's what they say. So. That's right. Is that something else that's maybe out of print that you'd rather grab? Because you can still what, Oh, yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. No, that's a, like my original uh, Power Ranger collection. I would run with that. Um, yeah, I would have to go with that if that was like the first thing. If it was everything I had, it would have to be that. Mm. God, Serenity replica. Ooh, that, yeah. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Hell yeah! Um, I don't know. What about you, Will? Got one dude. item. <laughs> that's too heavy, tough, man. Yeah, it probably would be. That's the problem because uh, You'd probably dude, die in a fire. <laughs> I know. I'm like easy. I'll just go down with my plastic. He's just standing there. Just, oh, yeah. yeah. I know. Saluting everybody. It'd be like Titanic. I'll be playing the violin. Just yeah. like just <laughs> waiting for the ship to go down. Uh, dude, the problem is if I could get it out, but the prime one Pennywise half scale, that's, I knew it. That, I knew it. that's my uh, that's that's my grail, bro. So like dude, that piece. Pennywise dropped. Yeah. That's why you just, I know. You, just, you just keep a dolly right uh, just ready. Yeah, just keep a dolly. Get it, now, but he's on a table, Sean. He's on a table, so I'd have to pull him off the table. He's very heavy. Pull him off the table, put him on the dolly, and roll him out. So, but dude, put the would table you, on would wheels. You, would you, you want a, him, though? Because I can dolly. imagine. I can imagine your house on fire, and now your Pennywise is there. And all this fire surrounding him while he's staring at you. <laughs> and like you're trying, you're like, should I save you or, or are you the cause? I'll snap a picture real quick. I'll be like, pick for Insta. You would. You'd send yeah. me a video. You'd be like, yo, right. check this shit out. Like, yo, else. house is burning down, bro. This is wild. <laughs> oh, the only God. thing that survived was the Pennywise statue. Right? Just in the oh, middle. God. And just I know. Embers everywhere. Somehow, though, like, yeah, like it burns the whole house down, but then they go in the wreckage, and Pennywise is completely on un- is fine. <laughs> Just unscathed. <laughs> yeah, unscathed. Yep. Oh, God. I would, I would, uh, I would get, I don't know, dude. I'd freak out. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was burnt. He was perfect, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Maz? Is there one thing? All right. Well, well, first of all, this has got to start with a preface, okay? Because I've actually been in a house that caught on fire and like, we were playing a D&D campaign downstairs in college. And uh, my friend, whose room was the initial you know, impact of the flame once it came in the house, he tried to run up there and save his 386 computer. If you guys remember what a 386 is. Yes, I do. My enough. first was a 486 DX2. Yeah. So, I mean, and we, we, to be honest, I mean, once that room was on fire, you can't get in there. You can't. I mean, I tried to follow him to get him out because I thought he was stupid. Uh, as soon as you go into the door to that room, man, you just hit the floor. You're just like, you can't breathe. Your your lungs just fill up with nothing but hot. I bet. Just right. nothing. So we had to get him out of the house. Then, of course, we had to run up. The, we had this big, like, it wasn't really a swimming pool, but it was like a tub. You know, we would throw beers in during a party, filled it with water, and we had to run it with two people up the stairs. And to try to put out the fire, but that didn't work because, uh, yeah. But anyway, if I had to save something, <laughs> man, first of all, is am I limited to just toys or any of my collectibles? Because no, just one, just I guess one item. We're just throwing it out there. So if I have to pick one yeah. item, it's it, oh, man, it'd be tough. I'd probably die in the fire because it's either my Fantastic Four forty eight, um, or my Pred Alien if we're going with a toy. So. What is 48? Is that first Galactus? Yes. And Silver Surfer. Yeah. And, and that book is yeah, just, just going just up and up. Just pull it out of the brain. And then, and then, of course, you know, right next to that would be my first appearance of Miles Morales, which is another one that's skyrocketing right now. So, you know, oh, what yeah. do you do, right? <laughs> um, first I would, I would Flash, cheat and say I would just grab my box of comics. They're, they're not in the box, item. though. They're all hung up on the wall because they're, you know, a nice... 
Oh, then you're you know, screwed. Bangs, you know. Yeah, so you're that screwed at that one. point. <laughs> yeah, because I got a lot of I got a lot of bag and board stuff, key issues and whatnot, and I would just probably grab the box. Uh, because honestly, the plastics and all this, the statues, they can be replaced. I suppose comics could too, maybe, but I think it'd be a lot more difficult. Yeah, a lot more difficult to find. You know, when you're when you're going back to like Silver Age stuff and yeah, yeah. But if it had to be a figure, it'd probably be my Pred Alien because just finding him at a reasonable price is just dumb. I mean, he's always up there on on eBay for like two grand, and uh, I got lucky. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, He's an awesome looking figure. I mean, his joints are garbage, but he's an awesome looking figure. So. Well, that's the that's the thing because things are so like the older figures aren't you you know what I'm saying like they're not I, they need to be they need to in my opinion they we need like two point yeah, but if they redo them you wouldn't be able to pose them half as well as you can pose them if you can get his yeah. if you can get him to stay where you pose them because like as his joints are garbage but you know if you get that 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 floor finisher in there or whatever and get him to, to lock his joints properly and and stay in in, in pose he looks beautiful. Or she, actually. It's a queen. So Right. Uh, six scale reviews. What's good? Home skillets. Is oh. Dan, I sent you a link, bro, if you want to come on in. If not, that's okay. Pose mask. Can, can hang out with us. I'm assuming that's Dan. If it's Dre, I'm sorry. But I think it's Dan. Uh, <laughs> I think right now it would be Battle Damage Thanos. I have him in his snapping power pose on my desk. I love to look at it. Maybe Empire Strikes Back Vader. Tough choice. Those are two good figures. <laughs> the Vader is really good. But I mean, again, the, 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 the Vader you can't get really, but but Thanos, can't you still buy him from Sideshow? That's you a good point. Replace him. Yeah, I mean, why that is using logic. Just with the end game cap, I mean, that's one you can just go right back out and buy. I mean, I, I don't get it, but I mean, I understand you love it, but it is something you can still get. Yeah. Right? That is true. That is true. You have to factor that in, guys. Uh, Cause there are some things you can't, I mean, for, for me right now, if there was a fire and I just had to leave right now, I would probably grab this hello with the custom head sculpt. <laughs> you could grab there two figures, go. bro. Cause she's so I light. could, I could, I could, let me, let me, I'll grab the red skull too. Yeah. There you uh, go. We'll just, and then we'll just scurry out of the house. Wait, wait, right if, if, if weight's a factor, do you think I can squeeze Ellen Ripley in with my predator? Yeah, right. Ones? Just carry them on. Oh yeah, probably bro. But I have to leave Jonesy, right? Cause that's where the weight limit's tossed out, right? I couldn't bring the cat. <laughs> A damn cat. Well, assuming everybody's safe, then yeah, you know, grab whatever you can. That's what I would yeah. do. Yeah. I mean, we've we've talked about it, man. We've had like nightmares of that stuff, man. Shit's burned down or stolen. Like I said, I've like, literally oh been God, there. The collection's the gone. That shit was real, man. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kinky Sphincter, dude. Quarter scale Vader, bro. It's right there. I yeah, that's a good one, dude. I don't know. Maybe see. I don't know. I don't know what I would grab, dude. There's too much. It's a tough decision. It is. Maybe I'll be like you will. That Ventress is good, but I would take quarter scale Vader first. Mm. I, you know I what I thought would. about doing? I don't know if you guys got it because he's he's. I think he's going to be pretty cheap for a while until he sells out. The quarter scale Mando from Hot Toys, like I like the Iron Studios better, but it was a point where like I could get quarter scale Mando for like half the price I'm selling Iron Studios for. So it's kind of like at that point, yeah, I like Iron Studios a little bit better. Do you guys? You guys don't have that, do you? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've heard good things. I have though. zero Iron Studios products. No, I mean the quarter scale Hot Toys Mando you don't have. No, I don't have him yet either. Are you going to get I, him, I'm, you think? Dude, here's the problem, man. I absolutely love those damn... I love quarter scale Hot Toys. Yeah. I do. The only one I have is Vader. I I, I missed out on Boba, and I, I want to get him, but he's still... He's they'll up redo there in price right now. New show. I'm sure they'll yeah, they might. Book of Boba do a quarter scale. They yeah. might, but he might not be Empire Strikes Back, though. No, he'll be Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. But that quarter scale's sick, and that Vader's awesome. So, I think I want to get the Mando. I think I do, because I think he's going to turn into that situation. Get the one with the E Web, man. That's the one that looks like it's worth it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. It's pretty dope. I mean, it's just like, and it's not out of just FOMO either. But there's something there for me, as far as quarter scale goes. You know what I mean? And if you got to because... display a quarter scale going, then yeah, yeah. And if he's gone, then you're like, fuck, dude. You're going to try to hunt him down later? I don't know about all that. Uh, my Jimmy Hendrix Stratocaster. Oh, shit. And I have my SRV Strat. Yeah. Yeah, let the toys burn, dude. I'm with you That's on that two, one. Though. That's two. And those are definitely much more heavier than the figure I chose yeah. with the extra Ellen. Well, Ripley look, if you can grab them, we'll, we'll amend it. <laughs> Just take take whatever you can. Uh, don't take hell away from us, man. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't. 
Uh, hey guys, I'm losing it. Or does Boba in the throne look different from Boba in the show? Um, because Boba, Ace Boba on the throne has robes on the front, and the show has pants. Yeah, I like the robes look hunts, better. To be honest I think they just you. changed his outfit a little bit. Yeah, they gave him pants. Now. Yeah, He's not wearing yeah. the robes anymore. Yeah, and I like the robes personally. He had a more mythos look before. Now, a little more. Yeah, I would. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Uh, Mario, oh, professor, I recently had a new appreciation for my quarter scale hot toys. Vader, mm, he did. I wonder why. Yeah, we, we uh, <laughs> Sean has something well, to do with it. We, uh, well, no, I think he just did on his own, but we got together and oh, okay. we posed our quarter scale Vaders together. Mm. Um, that is that that sounded cooler in my head when I said it, uh, but but it was fun, <laughs> like we had fun, we had fun. Denobi, what's up, bud? I'm getting a quarter scale Mando too. Our Dude, minds are cool, synced man. at this point, Denobi. He looks cool. Hey, dudes, love's from Australia. Hey, Braden, appreciate it. Uh, did you guys come from Iron Logan's by chance? If you have, let me know, because Iron Logan's the man. Oh, was he streaming? He was. He was doing his posed up, I think. I think he may have been over. Oh, uh, Sideshow's doing a quick... streaming right now. Is he streaming right now? Yeah, he's doing Uncivilized Scoundrels. I forgot. He, he does that, like, every oh. other Thursday or something. I don't remember what days. Did. I thought he started that later. Okay, well... Well, we're still going to go then. If they're going, they're going. That's fine. Yeah. I thought it was later. Um, my second and third would be Han, Lando, and Dutch from Predator. Oh. yeah. Dude, I, I would love one. for them to redo all that Predator stuff, man. And Aliens, the Colonial Marines. Like, I actually have the like, the likeness this time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the likeness isn't there. That's why I haven't tra you know, tracked them down personally. It's just the likeness isn't there. I, no, it's not. Lane has a good comment. I assume Sideshow probably already has blocked it. Because they probably would they would have made it already. Would they? I think so. They've made every other Vader. Yeah, but you would think maybe they were waiting for like an anniversary or something. Maybe, but they made Empire Vader before the 40th and then just reissued him. So, yeah. you know. So it's, and they made Rogue One Vader. They made A New Hope. They made two A New Hope versions. Um, yep. so yeah, they didn't make a clone more. Uh, what was he? Is he uh, it's Rebels, right? He's in Rebels, yeah, yeah, he's in Rebels, so maybe a Rebels well, version at some point. And you know, we're maybe. gonna get some from uh, from Obi Wan, so it was magical Mario. <laughs> I think those Vaders that are gonna come from Obi Wan are gonna blow all the other ones away. Like, I think if they do anything some... that looks like the Rebels Vader man with the uh, with the yeah. damage from the rebel dude that that's i think you might get that as mods i'm just gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say maybe you might get like a type two pack type situation where maybe you get an anakin and a vader and and maybe you get a vader with a split mass down the middle or something yeah, like that's what I'm hoping, that dude, just... i think i think obi-wan might i'm just i mean we know nothing about the show but i'm just going out on a limb and saying you might get some crazy vader shit that are gonna i like, hope so yeah. i hope so uh, real quick, Braden. Yeah, I was supposed to be including aries we were gonna be on brother cousins tonight but his power went out so there will be no show this evening so we decided to impromptu kind of do it here and that's kind of where we're at right now uh, yeah let's bring them yeah, all more in. accurate oh dante manaha collectibles up in the house what's what? up guys what is up Mar uh, <laughs> dante man we'll show in the guns yeah baby I, got, I mean dante <laughs> knows how he knows how it goes with women you got to show him a little bit so yeah you got to do it sometimes Sometimes. Yeah. Hey, sometimes I'm I'm in tanks, sometimes I'm in shirts. You got to roll. You're in the tanks sometimes. more than me, man. You you sure off the guns more than I do. Well, I mean, I've got a lot of ink too and it's just it's natural for me. I I'm just like, got dude, just I... one, just one arm, that's it. Hey, it's still sweet though. Thanks, I dude. love it, man. It took can, what? Dude, I, can... I don't know how long yours took. Mine took like 30 hours. It was a really long time. Your arm? Dude, I've lost track, yeah. dude. I've lost track of hours. Cuz it went all like... the way it wraps all the way around. So like it goes fully around so it, it took a long time it doesn't even have color i mean it's just white black and gray but that's it dude but shading takes a while bro yeah it does it hurt shading <laughs> yeah, it takes hurt. a while and it hurt. yeah certain spots dude hurt my sessions were like eight hours a piece so damn bro you went eight hours eight hours straight yeah damn dude you've shown me <laughs> up bro <laughs> i tap i tap tough, out at like bro. four four Did and a half dude nah man yeah. i didn't tap out oh dude because i had to drive like uh two and a half hours to get to him so like, oh okay we did okay. session every two weeks so i was like hey like he was like well let's just maximize the time we have so i've only been mm. on the table for a couple hours at a time man uh you know i got the arm just just you know one mm. tad on the arm and then 
the calf down here, and I think that was the longest one at five hours, and I just did that in one go. That's not bad, yeah. No, that's I, not bad. Yeah. Eight, I, did, time, I was doing like eight and nine, though. I dude, was like, I couldn't. I, could, I, I, I guess maybe I would if I had to drive, bro. Yeah. Because, like, at the moment, my roommate was my tattoo artist. Yeah, that is true. So that was, and Sean was around then, too. He would see it. We would be sitting around bored watching something, Star Wars, Star Trek, something. And then he's like, yo, you want to do some ink? He just got there. And I'm like, hell yeah. So we just, you know what I mean? <laughs> we got all the and ink and needles. We got everything. And then you know, so I, just, like, I gotta go. Yeah, dude, I would just lay on the couch, bro, or wherever I was and be like, all right, let's go. It's just like, you know. So to me, I was like, I would, I could tap out because I'm at home. I'll be like, right. dude, let's take a break. It's just so sore. You know, I loved it. I loved it. Um, yeah. The worst part is when Chris. they hit my my shin when they're when they had to do some oh, shading. Oh, dude, I bet. Dude, so, I bet. I can I can just tell you, yeah, sorry, and I let you read the comment, but the shoulder up here by the shoulder blade, and then by the elbow, and then also by the, arm, by the armpit, the armpit. I got really the close armpit. To how about the sit. ditch right here, bro? So, That's what we yeah. call it. Yeah. Ooh. See, like That's it, brutal. Man. All in yeah. here is brutal. I'm way up. I'm all the yeah. way up. This is and not. I don't know cool, if yours goes dude. all the way up, but by the shoulder blade for sure. Shoulder blade no, it, definitely it's, is. It's just your traditional. Dude, bicep. with my shoulder okay. right here, all of this, guys, like I was getting hit right here. This is Apocalypse, by the way, if you could tell. Um, yeah. And I drew all this stuff. So that's kind of why I did it. I was like, yo, this, this is my little art. Okay. And then I had him trace over, you know, with the, you know, paper. Yeah. And I was like, just, just do my shit, whatever. With, I don't care if it's good or bad. It's fun. And, it's like, and I think you, any, when you go under the arm, under the arm is what hurts. Like the outside mm. of the arm, like miles, like yours, that's not too bad. But when you start no, going was, underneath, very sensitive under here. Yeah. yeah like it's brutal, dude. Yeah. It and both of mine are I, Neil Gaiman, Sandman related. That's, that's, oh, oh hell yeah. Neil Gaiman's the shit. Yeah, got mm. Sandman here and Destiny is on my calf. So nice. I will well, chime in on this question. All of the endless, but yeah. You know, However, we got Dan Yo, up in here. Yo. Six scale reviews. Pose what's master. up, bro? <laughs> what up, guys? The pose master. <laughs> what, what are you uh, drinking? Is that what is that? Uh, it's just <laughs> soda. Oh, okay. Looking, I was thinking it was like uh, gin and juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Like, dude, I actually, like, I didn't even see your message until it's like right now. I like took a nice, nice little cozy nap after work, and uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did too. Yeah. Uh, I just want to hit real fast on this one so we can get through the chat. Sorry. Do any of you plan on getting Nightmare Batman Superman 2 pack? Yes. 100%. I got the only Batman I'll ever need right here. I feel that. I don't know. I'm, I don't think so. I'm getting yeah, Cyborg, yeah. but I don't know. I'll wait till those two are released and then I'll make up my mind. But as of now, no. I ordered this like oh, six, yeah. eight months ago. Was that the one six kit version? Right. It is. It. I had that too, and, and I sold it because originally I was going to get the set, and then I was like, eh, I, I forgot. So. I this is another thing I forgot. I you know, I don't know what it is, bro. I, I have a I have a bad habit of ordering shit and not knowing. Like that gambit, oh, uh, like this coat. You know, I'm like, what the hey, hell if, did I get if, in the if mail? If you want that gambit, I'll take it. I'll no, I want the gambit. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, or like this right here. It's on my desk, guys. I have a uh, custom. I forgot who made this. If anybody in the comments knows. This is a custom Thor Ragnarok head Ooh, that nice. lights up. Good. It's touch that's activated. It has batteries in it, but the batteries are dead. Nice. But you just so, tap it and the eyes light up. up. I forgot who made this, and I forgot I ordered it. It before showed we, up one day. Before we move on, Anthony, I got to ask Dan. Dan, how yeah. long did your tattoo on your forearm take? This is Hot Toys tattoo tonight. Um, This one yes, took is. a total of uh, close to like seven hours. That's not bad. Was it one um, session? I did five the first one and then two the last. Oh, so two sessions. Okay. And then, we're gonna get to nobody get a tat. He's in the chat. <laughs> and then hell yeah, this. Denobi. This Do one took more. this one took about five to six to appear. That's not bad. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one, about right. Did that in one session. I was yeah, shit's up. <laughs> How come I can't donate? What the heck? Well, because I'm a scrub. That's You'll what it is. Once you get one K and it's four thousand sure hours subscribe. of watch time a year. Four thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. I I am not at Maz a thousand next? subscribers. Maz, Maz about to be monetized. Hit. Maz just. Maz hit. Hit. So I got I to get the watch time up, but yeah, I got the I got the subscribers now. Yeah. Uh, I'll sick, tell man. you, I Congrats, I will bro. I will be at some point. I'm at eight hundred and ten subscribers. 
Yeah, you'll be yeah, there. Everybody, yeah. Make sure you subscribe everybody. if you're watching this, man. Don't, don't. Yeah, yeah. Stop, yeah stop, I mean, if stop you guys around, like the content subscribe. and you haven't, don't just hit. Hey, run. whoever the Russian yeah. bot is, there, go ahead and subscribe, there, buddy. We watch. Hell yeah. <laughs> I um yeah I got about I uh, like twenty eight hundred watched hours so it's 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 not bad it's That's going good. pretty good Dante's just here to see my muscles I know why he's Dante's here. always <laughs> here just to here. just stare man uh, yeah he is what he does uh, speaking of Dante I'm going straight to your channel after this to watch the boba unboxing man I cannot freaking wait I can I'm not gonna watch Dante's video what? but only because what? mine's gonna be here soon and that's the, the general rules we, we, we dante, check them out first i'm sorry miles what'd you say i said dante has it too or do we, dante has do it too do it all at the same time oh <laughs> i know uh bad batch figures I don't oh know, you Lane. finally got yours moss yeah he did yes, he got so. it in oh, okay thank in. god man i remember nice. you have, had like a situation going on so well i my situation was is i bought first batch and they were like the day it dropped they're like how do you want it shipped? I was like, well, I told you this back in May when my Players first batch paid off DHL. And yet, you know, of course, you got to wait 12 to 13 hours for them to respond to each thing. And it's just right. I was, and of course, then it sold out on their site. And I'm like, are they going to screw me like the Venom customers or, you know, what's going on? So. And they eventually shipped it for you. Say again? They shipped it for you. So you got it. Yeah. From them? I told okay. them I was going to, nice. you know, uh, do a charge back and the next thing i know it, it's going out the next day so there you go problem solved. uh anyone's wondering do you think the tuscan raider is worth it or a potential pass to wait for a black robe tuscan mm. oh that's a tough one i just want uh, the female tuscan thing. yeah I think a lot of people I think I would, would want be, that one would, would pick her yeah would buy her yeah i probably wouldn't Look, but i think a lot of people would well i i'll tell you from my for just for me being a star wars collector I did not pick up the Tuscan Raider from Mando. Me either. I didn't do it. Me neither. I thought he was too I thought he was too clean looking. Yeah. Though I love Tuscan Raiders and I think they fit in any trilogy because they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They fit they fit in the Star Wars universe period, but I just felt they were too clean and I would weather them myself, but then I was like I don't really want to do that. Yeah. If if I ever decided to part with the figure, maybe people would appreciate that and still buy it, right? But I just I don't want to go through the hassle. They're just too damn clean, and I would probably get a couple of them, so I passed. I don't feel like that's gonna gonna hit me like if I missed out on like Lando, right? Because yeah. I'm like, well, they're not making Lando again, and I'm kind of glad I waited because we are seeing a ton of Tuscan Raiders, dude. So, dude, we're probably gonna get one in for Mando, and hopefully, we get the the faction leaders, the 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 guy and the girl, the black robes. Yeah, I don't know. actually, yeah, yeah, both would be best to get one of each. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Denobi does have ink. Ooh, Ooh, who says I don't have chatter that. didn't happen to Nobi. <laughs> it's probably Ghostbusters or something like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Weathering on it, Master J. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure about that yet. I know. Did you guys uh, watch the new episode of Boba? Yeah, yeah I, I hated it. I, hate, <laughs> I, hated I hated it. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys in the chat have seen episode three of boba fett i think it's polarizing though a lot of people like it and a lot of people hate it so yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how anybody liked that third one <laughs> somebody, somebody <laughs> mentioned it on, on your stream earlier today uh, uh mafia you know the ones that rodriguez himself has been directing have been like the weakest ones because the one that favreau directed which is episode two was really was the strong. strongest the that one was good that one that was good, good. Yeah. yeah were were just weird just the th off, what yeah. is up with this like I won't spoil much, but the Power Rangers like bike crew, like uh, are you the guys that like the Power Ranger stuff. I've I've always yeah. spoken against these things. They don't fit in the universe at all. No, like no. they don't feel like Star Wars characters at all. Like Tatooine yeah. is very like grim. There's not a lot of color, and then there's like these bright red pink bikes flying around, and you're just like, what is this? Like it looks like is... something out of a cyberpunk or something. Right? It was weird. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it was totally. I mean, again, so we're not gonna like spoil the episode for you guys who haven't seen it, but. Look, all we're gonna say is there was a gang, there was a biker gang, and, that, and that's not really a spoiler. Seriously, there's a biker gang, like a swoop gang, and there's like yeah. five of them, and they're all colored the damn Power Ranger colors. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. And, and the chase it, scene it, is really in that bad. gang though, because yeah. was, that, was that Arden Lynn, the female in the gang? Do we think that's? <laughs> I don't Lynn? know. <laughs> That chasing Bro, was really it, slow. It was like really slow. It was well because I, I I watched it live today on my channel. 
which was kind of cool. I had a, a decent amount of people tuning in and watching with me live. And um, and I was just like, because I hadn't seen it yet. This is my first time. I try to watch it. I've been watching every episode live on my channel for the first time. So I have, I have no idea what the hell I'm getting into when I watch it. So And then we just kind of chat about it. And, dude, I was just kind of like... <laughs> It's like what and, the hell am I and watching? I'm not going like, to spoil anything with what happens. But Bo, I mean, Boba should be dead. Like, I mean, yes, he you, just like, yes, he just like died and then not died in like the next five seconds. Like it was like it was it was terrible. I mean, I yeah, I think I, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we probably won't go into it, but I just maybe with Mandalorian being so good, our expectations were too high for this. But nah. and it's a beloved character we always wanted to see more of. I I'm starting to wonder if maybe Tamora Morrison might just be too old. To play the I just part. don't think he's ever been a main actor. Yeah, I, mean, I don't he, know. He, like he, Pedro he, had so much charisma with a helmet on, like, yeah. and he was great, and he could s steal and lead a show. But I don't know, I don't know if Tamora can. I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, it, Denobi it equate it more towards like uh, like a biker gang, but on like uh, you know the, the scooters that older people ride. <laughs> <laughs> so not Pretty not much. even quite Vespas, but like more like the the assisted scooters that people ride Over around the caspers yeah. little casper yeah. uh <laughs> wheelchairs yeah. but they look kind honestly, of like Vespas. so they they they're yeah there up, was uh, there there out. was uh there was a a, a bike chase scene okay yeah, if you, you want to call it that, that. <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah. <laughs> That's where so like the slow. budget looked a little rough. Like you're like, oh man, maybe yeah. the budget's not. I quite thought it was the budget was not good. Little, spent all his money on that budget right there was the bikes, man. All right. These I gotta know. be pimped out. Mm. <laughs> Put some yeah, bling on it. Them. Was pretty. Yeah. I, I agree know. with you guys. It was it was out of place. It's it didn't just feel weird, like man. it was Tatooine. Like, why not just give them like the the speeders or whatever? What the swoop bikes? Like why not give them those? Like I mean. Yeah, everyone yeah, else. No, it, it, exactly, and I and I had mentioned that same thing too, man. I was like, this is more. This may have been more suited for like Coruscant, right? Narshada, yeah. maybe you know. But on Tatooine, bro, yeah. no. Like I, I already mentioned, I live in the desert, bro. In like three three days, my car is dusty. <laughs> right. They're in Tatooine, bro. I mean, like, no, didn't yeah. fit. Well, Those also, colors would have maybe been okay if they were like really chipped down. You would also didn't you do know what I mean? Like, like a lot of wear. Water, they got like, the boom yeah. bikes and they got you know the, right. the cool cybernetics and I'm like, but, but you they can't, can't afford, afford water, water. right? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, right. Yeah, will we get a scooter four pack? No. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? I I highly Those doubt would it. Fly off the shelves. Yeah, okay. they would, Correct. dude. Right. I don't know. I don't know if we would pick them up or not, but I don't think so. <laughs> uh, did feel yeah. very Back to the Future, yeah. I, I know, yeah. even with the fruit falling on the mayor's assistant at the end, it was. I don't know what the hell they were doing with this episode. Should have been manure if they were going to do it right. I mean, there's still four episodes, but one of the things too that I think, without saying spoilers, it's like I don't think we really understand why Boba wants what he wants. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's like no like, direction. Like there's no like he doesn't have a goal really. Like, I think it's I just, think it's tied to the Tuscan Raiders. I think he's going to try maybe. to get them proper representation after he's claimed. <laughs> I mean. Maybe is that that's, really the story though? Because that's anyway. kind of lame. Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of like well, they can't they they can't do what they did with Mando. They made him the bounty hunter, so they can't give Boba Fett bounty hunter now. Even though he was, it would be just regurgitating the same thing we just saw with Mandalorian. My so. thing too is like I think Maz also oh. like <laughs> he's so different than he is in the original trilogy, and really not that Even much time has Mando. passed. He's entirely different. Like he's like he, like he's he's basically a brand new character. And I guess if the argument is oh the the Sarlacc pit changed him that much and I don't know like that's that's a pretty steep 180 like yeah. that's he went from like bounty hunting and being a savage basically to like going and being like this altruistic ruler like he's like <laughs> he's like he's like more noble than Mando is I mean like he's I don't know I guess you could call him soft that doesn't that's not the word I would soft. use to describe Boba I mean like I don't know no, like, I, I, I know where you're going with Boba yeah all right, Boba wants so. Tuscans to have proper representation after they made him a slave. Well, I mean, well, I mean in, in the last episode, I mean, this is not spoiling this episode, but in the last episode, he was trying to get them, you know, the, the rights to the money that was getting paid to get through their land and, and stuff like that. And I think he's, he, he, because you got to understand, he, he's with the Tuscans for like five years because that's, he falls into that so, uh, Sarlacc pit during Return of the Jedi, which is supposedly five years before the, the Mandalorian stuff, right? 
So Mandalorian happens, and now we're in Book of Boba Fett. Everything we're watching from Book of Boba Fett happens um, either before that point where Mando and him team up, or right after it it's nothing like way before and way after. no it's right after right it's because right after. yeah it's right after. You know, it's, because... it's five he gets out of the starlight pit relatively quickly because he can still breathe if you notice he couldn't breathe in there that's why he went to get the stormtrooper which i don't know why that was there but get his air he needed right. the air so he obviously couldn't have been down there too long to get out but right. the asset was doing his work on his armor so he gets out and then he's he's with the tuscan raiders for like five years yeah, for a while. Well, it's got to be because you got to understand if you remember. So when he gets out of the Sarlacc pit, the sail barge is still smoking. It's smoldering on the ground. Yeah. So to say that this that, that attack in Return of the Jedi is 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 like it's it's relevant. It's hap- It had just happened, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. he got out, and then I think the Tuscan flashbacks are like the five years or so, because in Mando, yeah. it's like Fennec and all them took off to Moff Gideon's ship, did their thing. Luke came, took Grogu. They left that ship. She met back up with Boba, and then they went to Jabba's palace. So it's like concurrent with the timeline. I don't think there's been a yeah, but know, all the flashbacks, as as the flashbacks is only like in the last five years, is what I'm saying. The flashbacks, yeah, yeah, start up. I believe so from the end of Return of the Jedi to you know to to the present kind of Mandalorian whatever, and then it jumps forward back into you know, the now now. So uh, we're we're not looking. He shouldn't be any different from anything that we see him dealing with in the now than how he was in the Mandalorian episodes where he kicked all that ass, which makes, so it makes no sense to me. He was just a badass. Right. He's still on the same sudden, timeline. Like, right. I he's, forgot to throw out a punch, you know? Right. And he can't win a fight now. I thought it's it was like, smoking, Ben. What's the helmet wrong, but I don't get it. I thought that sail barge looked like it was smoking. It was still like, no, it wasn't fresh. smoke anymore, but it was wrecked there. It was there. Right okay. There. Maybe well, I'm tripping. I'm probably yeah. tripping, but, but it Maz, still looks like it was there. Maz like, is right though. Like yeah. that's the, I mean, I get their stormtroopers and they've kind of be, they're pretty disposable. I guess they always have been, but like, that's a battalion of stormtroopers he took on. I mean, like that's, that's still not nothing. Right. And for him to yeah. go up like a couple guys and I mean, I get the ambush him, but this is Boba Fett we're talking about in the shields in the street. Well, didn't he have I mean, his jetpack on. one? I mean, yeah, I have I mean, to watch it again, but if, if he didn't, this is then shame on him. But if he did, why didn't he just fly it's up supposed over to be the, the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy? Right. I mean, that's, and he just like, he can't take on a couple guys with shields. Like, I, I, yeah. I don't understand. Like, and he has Fennec with him and they can't like. It just, I don't know. It just, yeah. it was kind of like, to me, I always, and people maybe miss this, like Spider-Man, when he shows up in civil war, kicks all kind of ass. And then at homecoming, he's like tripping over himself, falling off roofs and stuff. And I'm just like, yep. what, what happened here? Like, like <laughs> that was my thing there. And I still like homecoming, but it was very jarring. Right. So, and I think this is even worse than that because it's like, this is, there's no continuity, but not, that's not saying anything about this two pack. It looks great. Yeah. No, and I, I but I agree with you. Before they they ruined Boba Fett, if the, this indeed was happening now, ruining him. Uh, so this is we'll before the, his his solo show. So this is good. I'm good. With yeah, this. that's that's what you made me think of. You made me think of the, the the two pack right now when we're talking about how he just went through this battalion of troopers right here, which they advertise in the figure. Uh, I mean, he was. It's fucking. Bad I don't know. Ass, I'm trying bro. to reserve my judgment, man. I am <laughs> trying really hard until all seven episodes are done. But we're we're, we're catching up to the now in the flashbacks too, because uh, as I mentioned on your stream earlier, when when uh, he's riding in on the on the Bantha, into into Mos Espa or whatever, um, you see uh, the chick that Mando keeps hanging out with when he comes to town. You know, you see her and her little droid run across the street. Um, you know, the repair chick. I don't forget her name, but yeah. So I think he's gonna end up seeing Mando come out of her place or something because we didn't finish from that scene. He, he came into town. And then they cut to somewhere else. So he's going to come out and he's going to probably see Mando in the best car. And that's when we're going to start catching up to where we should be. Uh, and I think there's a there's a tease too. Um, there's a tease too also with like they did in the third episode of another villain coming. We don't know exactly who, I don't think. But the huts were very clear. They were like, yeah, you should you should uh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't right. think we're done with right. the huts, man. I, right. I, think, I think we're going to feed but the But even they were scared rank. off by something. Yeah, they someone. were scared off by something. Yeah. Uh, Denobi says, chess, the pawns go first. Do you understand the show affects current merchandise? The figures could sit. 
I think if anything, the throne version would sit more. Yeah, I was yes. just about to say. I'm less, I'm less enthused <laughs> about that one now after after we're going with the show. Yeah, but he's right. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, but it could be this two pack too. I mean, that's absolutely true. I mean, look at the sequel figures, right? I mean, so they sat. Speaking of, what do you think about that? Because you sent me that link about that supposed leaked Knights of Ren trailer, dude. If it's fake, they did a damn good job. Like, I mean, that shit looks... Did you guys see that? No. It looks... I mean, you might as well show it, Anthony. It's a leaked trailer. I'm going to so. pull it up right now. <laughs> like, it's... Honestly, whoever did it, if it is... But the only thing that's weird, Anthony, the Knights of Ren don't use lightsabers. So I maybe know. it's a previous Knight of Ren, like before Kylo was the master. Like, I don't know. But it's... Uh, You guys have to see it. It's like a... They said it's a leaked trailer, but I don't know if Disney would have taken it down by now. It was, like, uploaded yesterday. Well, so, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to see if it's still there. It still should be. I was looking at it like two hours ago, but yeah, I mean, it's got sixty-five thousand views. Of I don't course. know. Who, well, kudos, if it's fake, kudos to the guy who made it or gal because they absolutely it looks. I mean, yeah, they, I'm gonna try to pull it up. It right looks now. professional. So it's, yeah, yeah. So bear with me, guys. I'm gonna pull this this up. Don't play the sound, or you won't be able to. Yeah. It's a leaked trailer anyway, so, you know. Well, we'll see, but I'm just going to so. barely put it because we're talking, too. Yeah. So, I'm going to kind of talk over it. So, it's really just for visuals, just so you guys can see what this looks like. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm it not is sure. Fake, though, is this then... for a game or for a show? It said Disney Plus, so. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not sure. So, there's a knight with a lightsaber um, jumping onto an X-Wing. X-Wing from up the tie fighter right is that what that mm -hmm. looked like yeah uh yeah dude there's no way dude this, this is like not cg here this fake. isn't looking real to me it looks like a video game trailer yeah, yeah it looks it like looks something like it could trailer. be an ea thing but i don't know i don't know man it could be a like, game i don't know that's a I, tough I, one I, it's, it's i don't know it's too that, good yeah. like i don't know it's People are getting That's better tough. at editing nowadays. Maybe though. it's uh, maybe it's that like a new true. animated series. Yeah, maybe. You still got to watch that Mall Hatred there, Six Scale. I know, um, I know. I need to check that out, man. If you're I not really going to watch do. Clone Wars, at least watch the five minute Mall Hatred fan made thing because it makes you just. I know, as as somebody who didn't really give a crap about Mall, you know, when I saw him in Phantom Menace, you know, up until I finally watched Clone Wars, and then I was like, wow, Maul is such an amazing character. That summed it up. That 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 fan made trailer or whatever you want to call it. That mall hatred. If you guys haven't watched it. It's, yeah, I'll 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 try. Phenomenal. I keep forgetting because I mentioned earlier, but I'll, I'll try to check it out this week if I can. Uh, OG fans, Star Wars says that was a game engine fanboy film. Maybe, could be. Uh, Star it looks Wars like Universe a game engine. Definitely fake. You can tell. Definitely. Yeah, it does look like a video game. There's a lot of trailer. good creators out there that can make their own shit like that. So yeah, they could yeah. Like be Warhammer like fan made stuff that now is supported by uh, 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 Startes. Man, you guys see that? That was one person that made that. Yeah, it wasn't legit. Well, you, it's become the only reason why I might them. think it was real though is because, as Will pointed out, Knights of Ren don't use lightsabers. They had lightsabers. Kathleen Kennedy's trying to push her sequel trilogy stuff. She doesn't know anything about Star Wars, so that's why they would have lightsabers. <laughs> so it kind of feels, like, you know, it kind of feels like it could be real. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing some shade at her. But I don't know. The, I don't know. It does, it does I, kind of have a video gameish vibe to it. But Kylo's yeah. the only Knight of Ren that used lightsabers. So I mean, yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's probably fake, but it looks cool. You yeah, know, it does look cool. I think it's a video game. Uh, yeah, I could be wrong. I don't think he's. I, yeah, I don't think Boba Fett. It, we, brought, we brought that up earlier today too. I don't think Boba Fett can be ruined the the character, right? Because in my head, to. well, I'm just I'm just saying like in my head, I I will always look at it as you know the original trilogy, and this moment forward, this is all Disney stuff. So I don't know if it's just a weird thing justifying in my own head, but. I'd be like, even if you just completely ruin the character, I think I'm still gonna like Boba Fett. You know what I'm saying? Still mm -hmm. Boba Fett. I'm I still like Luke Skywalker. Version, yeah. You know, yeah. Despite the sequels, I still love Luke. He's still Luke Skywalker. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, and in my opinion, he was ruined in the sequels. So, 
I still loved Luke, though. I wasn't like, fuck Luke now. You know what I mean? No, I was I more angry at, at the direction, but not not the character. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know I think Luke with... had, a, had one good moment in the sequels. You know, the, the part where he was kind of force fighting uh, Kylo with the... However oh, they're the doing projection. that projection across the... And he's sitting there staring down at the AT-ATs and Kylo. And that was actually, I thought, a cool well, sequence you. until you realize he's not actually there. And then you're like... Because, Anthony, I know how that is. You know, like, with Last of Us, how I am, right? I mean, my tattoo is Last of Us. Like, I still love Ellie despite right. the fact that I hate the second game. So, I mean, you Ooh. know, like, I I think they ruined her character, but I still love the character. So, from the first one. So, you know. But, yeah, but I, I um, yeah, I, I know what you guys are saying. Yeah, and I think I've always said, too, with the sequels, the reason I love them is because I was not a huge Star Wars fan coming into them, right? So, I had no expectations. I didn't really understand. Like, I, I'd watched them before. Like, my aunt was really big into them and got me into them and stuff. But the sequels are what made me a Star Wars fan. So, that's, you know, that's why I like them more. But, and also because I, you know, it's not like I had an expectation of what Luke should be or shouldn't be. You know, it's different. When you're, like, a beloved fan of a franchise and you go into the sequels, I I could understand why you'd be pissed at it. Like, because Luke got done kind of dirty. So, yeah, I get it. Like I said, no, with did. Joel with Last of Us, I know how it is. So, you know. They did everybody I didn't even, dirty I didn't even play the Ray. second game. I mean, even Finn got done kind of dirty. Yeah, Finn like, got done a little dirty. Plot yeah. was actually beneficial at all to the to progression of the story. <laughs> the yeah. first one, he was great. The yeah. first one, he was great. Force Awakens, yeah. But I, I'm a huge Kylo fan, so I like Kylo. But I think yeah. Kylo's pretty good overall. Yeah. Except for his incessant whining, I was fine with him. <laughs> they, shouldn't have, yeah. they shouldn't have killed him, honestly. Yeah, I was a little bummed about that too. I think he should have had a redemption arc. You know, he should have been the one that lived and she died, but they wouldn't do that. So I mean he did kill his father though. (laughs) Yeah. No, you're right. Mark Hamill said it was Jake Skywalker. Uh uh, right out of the horse's mouth, man. I know. I know. It's just at least I think he was redeemed in Mandalorian. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, hundred percent. Or at least the AI that was pretending to be him was redeemed. (laughs) Yeah, well, Ken I mean, Luke. it was still Mark Hamill. Got, I mean, he was I there. Know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I, no, I know what you mean, though. I, I know what you mean. It's just all he things was great considered. until they had him talk, and then I'm like, man, this is this is yeah, Rogue One all they, over again with with Leia. It's with like, Leia. Why'd you make it turn around? You could have just said the voice over, but no. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. The Tarkin was pretty good, though. The Tarkin Rogue One was pretty yeah. good. Not it perfect, was but better. It was better. Yeah. It was okay. It longer, but I'm sorry if I didn't if I brought this up and spaced it, but Fig Fate said that's an interesting perspective. Will I didn't know you became a Star Wars fan with the sequels. I became a fan with the prequels, so those are yeah. more special to me. Force Awakens really is what that's my favorite Star Wars. I was movie. just about to ask you that. Yeah, yeah Force, Force Awakens. Awakens. That's my favorite because I, you know, I really connected with Kylo, and that's what made me a huge Star Wars fan. So it has a lot of sentimental value for me. So. I can dig that. That's why I have all the sequel. I don't have all the sequel figures, but I have every Kylo <laughs> and every Ray. So. I like the characters. I but. need a ray just for a body for my armor. Or you got one to spare? <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, I actually have a friend who's getting rid of Rise of Skywalker, Kylo, and uh. Is it ray. the one with the rubber arms though, or is it one with yeah. jointed arms? Because I need jointed. Yeah, arms. no, it's the Rise oh, of Skywalker yeah, version. Seamless. Yeah, she has seamless. seamless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't want seamless. You can get well, if anybody it. needs him. Yeah, <laughs> Kylo's still available too. You can still get him. So yeah, ray but his body was not right. Kylo armor. Didn't... No, no. You probably need like uh the training version of Ray or whatever, like Last Jedi mm-hmm. or something. Oh, Barrett says the last of us <laughs> Barrett. Two is perfect will. How could you, you betray me, Barrett? Mind. Betray me like that, bro. I know. How could you do that to <laughs> me in my heart? <laughs> yeah, There's I didn't some even things bother. I like about it, but I mostly I played it. the first Last of Us and I liked it, but I didn't bother with the second because I, I just heard the second. Yeah, I heard so much same. bad stuff like like right as it came out. And normally I don't really listen to other people's opinions too much, but when it was like overwhelming, I was like, okay, maybe there's, there's something. And I don't want to waste my time. Games are long. Yeah. I can waste two hours on a movie. You know what I'm saying? Despite negative reviews and I might find it enjoyable, but if I start getting to a game, a lot of people are like, oh, you just got to keep playing. It gets better. I'm like, I'm eight (laughs) hours in. (laughs) <laughs> right. sucks like how much do i gotta play like, you, until it's you good can't progress like, to the proper story points doesn't mean that it's not any good eight hours could just mean you're dying to the same mob <laughs> that's true. right yeah, that's that's very true actually. well that's kind of how i feel about uh clone wars which i get a lot of slack we get i'm a the lot same of, way with because you, i've watched like the first season most of it i'm like oh, i don't really part. like it like i just you know but i've heard you have to keep watching you have to keep watching but i'm like i don't really like it though uh, that, I was that does get better. Actually, question there. <laughs> already went past it there. Um, 
Which would you guys like it if Sebastian Stan plays Luke? If we ever see him again, oh, I would be down. Mark yes, Mark. yeah, I'd be. I, yeah, I would I think, definitely be down for that. I think Mark. Yeah, Hamill I mean, after what they did to Winter Soldier, him. yeah, I mean, let's let's have a, let's. I like <laughs> I him think, as an actor. I think Mark. But I hate what they did to Winter Soldier. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I think Mark. Sorry, Hamill Sean. What? Gave, I think Mark Hamill gave Sebastian Stan his seal of approval. He's like, yeah, he yeah. He could he easily did. just play Luke. Right. Yeah, I mean, I would, if, I would if love Mark Hamill had any say in it, but I understand the sentiment. Well, no, Mark Hamill didn't <laughs> I mean, have any say, but as a fan of the series and of right, other yeah. actors, he's like, yes, he could he could easily do it. I'm with you, yeah. though, Anthony. What they've done to the Winter Soldier, I'm not a fan of either. It's just like, no. In, in the Winter Soldier, Captain America Winter Soldier, he is perfect. Like, he's so good. Perfect. And then he just he's goes for down 10. from there. Like, yeah. You move he's your started, he's, he's a background he's character going from now. Winter so- Soldier to, like, Bucky. Right. Like Bucky in the comics, where Bucky wasn't really that big of a deal. No, Bucky right. was like Boy Wonder Robin. Yeah, you know, yeah. back in the day, like they were very synonymous to to each other in that respect. You know, Batman and Robin, and then but you know, Cap and Bucky, and they were just he was just kind of the the, the little the sidekick. Yeah, the he was just there, you know. To go like, hey, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah it's unfortunate, man. I uh. Yeah, I'll give you that. Will we should give it a shot? I don't. I don't know. Abby was bad. <laughs> she was bad. Yeah, I just. Uh, but I like him as an actor. Don't get you know. So I would. I could see him being a Luke. He looks. He looks like it. He could play the part. He's a good actor. I, I, I say it all the time. Winter Soldier is like top three in my MCU movies. Oh, it's. I'll great. go back and watch. Yeah, I'll watch Winter Soldier a bunch. I just love that it's movie. Really- I love that spy thriller feel. It didn't feel too superhero-y. <laughs> Even though I know we're watching superhero movies, but you know what I'm saying? It didn't feel like it was dude, like, I got fatigue, bro. Yeah, I'm like I'm getting kind of burnt out on MCU stuff. That's fair. I really like Shang Chi though. Really like that a lot. That was good too. Yeah, it's not bad. It was entertaining for me. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah. I'm waiting for Doctor Strange too. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. That one's gonna be trippy. Yeah, that one's giving me a little bit of hope. <clears throat> But I hope literally like it's good. Like I don't want it to be like too too crazy. And Spider Man like, was great. And Hot Toys needs yeah, to make but I'm gonna give that to Captain Sony, America. man. Nah, you can't give that to Sony. Yeah. It is nah, a Sony yeah, you movie. Can't. But Marvel was I mean MC the Marvel like the MCU is the one that gave them that proper direction. Yeah, Marvel they produced lacking. it. Yeah. They were lacking so well, bad. Well who who but who who we gotta look that shit up. Who I think wrote Marvel and produced, produced that? Because yeah. I know it was John, John Watts, Watts directed, the one who directed all three. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. all three? Which ones? The new Spider Man. The new Spider Man. Yeah, the Tom Holland yeah, Spider Man. The Tom Holland. Yeah, Kevin Feige is going to produce. Yeah, the producers, producers are Amy yeah. Pascal and Kevin Feige. So yeah, I think yeah. Marvel produced it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I know they get twenty five percent of the profits. Marvel does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have to wrap. So they're just kind of like lending them the character. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, is they, Marvel they, the one actually doing it? Because, dude, I, I mean, yeah. I, you guys are probably right. I think so. But I just didn't feel like it would be because the way Marvel's been doing their shows and movies lately. Movies and shows feel... are different. They're different. Uh, Faye's in charge of them all, but but he's he doesn't quite get his hands into the shows. He gives them the, the rough. Yeah, there somebody well, even the movies, like The Eternals, I couldn't stand that movie. Yeah, I didn't like um, it. Personally. I, I um, yeah, that was right. kind of weak. I just finally watched it. I didn't like Black Widow. I like um, that. Black Widow was actually better when you go back after watching Hawkeye. Like you go yeah, back, and that's fair. That's what I did because I was like, man, because in Black Widow I was like, eh, Elena, whatever. But then Hawkeye, I was like, okay, I love you, Elena. Now let me go watch Black Widow again, and you know, it's like, yeah, it works. Well, maybe, maybe because I didn't really watch, uh, I didn't really watch Hawkeye, so Hawkeye I need to catch fun. up. It was fun. I'm just kind of, I've just cool. been kind of burnt. You know what I'm saying? Like it just yeah. felt. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is that's like giving me a little bit of that Marvel fatigue. But then Spider Man had none of old. like Spider Man was just dope. Like it was just fun. I didn't feel like they were there was no like uh, agenda or narrative or anything. There weren't they weren't trying to do. It was just a movie. You can go watch this movie and it was entertainment and you can forget about the whole world and not be reminded of things. You know what I'm saying? And just. Like watch this badass movie and like That's the forget. DCU, man, you can watch any of that stuff and get that feeling because none of those. Oh hell yeah, dude! I love together. the Snyder stuff. I mean, yeah, personally, Snyder Cut was great. Snyder Cut. Was I love I love Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. Yeah, 
I like Batman versus Superman. I really, I mean, I don't know you. I don't know if you watched it. I don't think you did. I really liked Loki, the show, but I'm a huge. Yeah, Loki. I haven't seen it. I, I guess I'll watch Loki it. Was, like, Loki was great. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, Loki but was uh, I watched it again shows, recently. Man, my favorite show this year was Arcane. Oh yeah, I started watching. That is that, the best yeah. show I think I've watched all year. Really? Okay. And it's animated. I watch so, you know, yeah, it's on Netflix. It's phenomenal. I've heard. Well. You know, I'm gonna chime in on that with with Tukathri here because he says Black Widow has the same problem as Andor. The main character is dead, so I don't really care about them. It's but fair. like, but but at the same time, Rogue One they were already dead. Like we already knew that. Yeah. But you want to watch and Rogue Black One for sure. You watch Hawkeye because it's gonna come into play a little bit, and it'll, it'll just help some of those moments in Hawkeye pay off more. I guess we'll say that. I guess that makes sense, but yeah. I I don't know though because with Rogue One, I guess we didn't know, but we had we we it was safe to assume that everybody in Rogue One was not gonna survive. They were supposed they can't to retcon people into the new hope. Yeah. Re- reshoots made it so they didn't survive, but they were supposed to initially. Some of them were. Well, I'm glad they didn't. Yeah. But I love Rogue One. Well, according to some, went... they did. So, you know. Well, I don't know. There's always, yeah. you know, yeah. rumors about There's that. No, but... If Jen Erso was alive, I don't know what to say at this point. Yeah, there was, I mean... she was supposed to be alive in the original cut. Her and yeah. uh, Catherine. In the original cut, yeah. I, I don't know not, much about yeah. Hollywood. I'm not a Hollywood actor. I don't hang out with Hollywood people. Um, may, maybe, maybe oh, KJ yo. here can give us can give us some insight to this Hollywood this Hollywood stuff. rumors. And What's I, up, right, guys? As, right as KG comes in, I have to go because I have a live stream. <laughs> I have a gaming live stream. KG, I love you. Want oh, my you check, do, my bro. friend? Send me my check, man. Oh, I'll send it to you, bro. Don't worry. I send it to me. Don't forget, forget about me. I won't because I, won't. I know you've yeah. been slacking lately. I'm about to come over there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll send you. I'll send it to you right after we're done with the stream. Don't worry about it. By the way, I love uh, the setup you have going back there, KJ. Oh, I think I just got he's this old. figure in the Hellboy, and, and he's oh, you just got him. Oh, in? you just got Hellboy. Sick. Nice. Yeah, I'm Ooh, telling man. you, this figure. If I had him earlier, this would have been a figure of the year for me, hands down. That's what I've heard. I've oh, heard it's yeah, really great. Yeah. Well, you got to get it, man. You got to get it. It's it's. It's really good. It's, I think it's, it's, it's still on BBTS, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's where I got it from. Yeah, it's really cheap. I yeah, do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and Barrett, yeah, you got to forget that it's League of Legends. Uh, yeah, just just watch it for the fact that it's an animated, awesome show. Just forget. Oh, you're talking about Arcane, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just just All forget. Right. Just, just ignore that whole thing about League of Legends because it doesn't. Anthony, thanks for having me, bro. <laughs> good seeing you guys. Sean, of course, Dad, Will. You, Will. Know, you know what, Will? I forget because I know you got to go. But you know what? What's up? I'm I've gonna full screen one. you. I'm gonna Tell full screen you for like What's what, up? like a few moments. I remember talking about my gaming. How you doing? How you yeah, doing? you just let people know what is you're it because doing? of my guns. Is that what it is? You want to full? Yeah, screen dude, sun's out, <laughs> guns out, <laughs> right? guns out, bro. Yeah. So when Anthony's done, don't leave until he's done the stream. But we have a gaming stream on my channel where I don't. I think we're gonna play Battlefront. But I don't know. Optical will be there. Uh, Riley, Carlos, some of my other friends, they'll be on there. Battlefront two probably. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm gonna carry the squad, obviously, because it's what I do. And uh, yeah, come watch us. We'll be streaming it on YouTube. So thanks, Anthony, for having me, man. You're the best. But uh, I'm tougher than you because I had my tattoo longer. So Damn. Uh, that's fine. He, you know, he can have that one on me. He can have that one on me. So <laughs> nah, yeah, go check out Will's. tougher than me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Eight hour sessions, bro. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's yeah, you're right about that one. You're right yeah. about that one, dude. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, we'll go have some games. Games. We'll have we'll meet up soon, brother. All right. All right. See ya. All right, well, cool, guys. Sweet. Yeah, so uh, we were just kind of shooting the shit, KG. <laughs> I didn't even realize we're already an hour and 45 in. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but we can die, we can segue. So you got Hellboy in today. Yeah, man. It's such a beautiful figure. Oh, what's up, Maz? Uh, what's, what's up, man? man? First time meeting you, Maz. Um, yeah, oh. uh, it's uh, it's an amazing piece. Uh, Mafia, you got to get it, man. You got to review this figure. It's it's definitely up there with some of the best one of the best figures of 2021 for sure. I mean, at first I was like, I don't know if I need it, you know. And then when I got in hand, it's yeah, it, it's it, it's it definitely shows figure of the year for sure. I mean, even Dan has it too, and it's yeah, yeah, it's right. it's, it's it's the thing, man. It's don't be, okay. So look, that body up, man, with don't be scared to pose things. it though. Whatever you don't be. Scared. Oh, I'm not posing well, it. I, I, hell no, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> you grease it up, well, you okay, so so on, so so KG, you just got the figure. Yeah. Let's say you made the figure. This is your this is your idea. This is your figure. How are you gonna sell this figure to me right now? Why do I need to buy this Hellboy? Ooh. Because it's it's the best. I mean, look, it's it's going to be one of the one of the grails 
in the future. I think it's because we haven't gotten a Hellboy in what? I think Hot Toys made one 10 years ago, 11 years ago. I don't know um, what Hellboy yeah. is. It was, you know what Hellboy is? Let's just Mike say Magnolia I don't. Oh, he, he, the... He's running a scenario oh, okay. like sell the yeah, figure. I've, not, I've actually, oh, I didn't watch okay. the movie. So, but let's just All say, right. yeah, why do I want the figure as a collector of six scale? <sighs> okay. So, this figure, okay, this figure, I'm telling you, is you can buy it for a cool factor, right? This figure can stand out just by itself. If you have this figure in the shelf, you don't really need anything to go with it. I mean, for instance, if you buy a Fire First Clone Trooper, for instance, right? You have mm -hmm. to buy at least two more or three more to make it look good. Or if you have Captain Rex with it, it'll make it pop. This figure, if you, if you have this figure alone, this figure will stand out. Anything else, from anything else that you have. It's kind of like from that going, from the, going, going from the coat, going from the accessories that it comes with, comes with two swords, two horns, uh, some flame effects, a crown, a backdrop, um two different big you know his big hands right here um two guns fist of doom. i'm sorry fists of doom that's what it called the name of the big hands oh it's the, the big hand. Hand. Oh, okay fists of doom okay fists of yep. doom. and he comes with a lot man i think it's it's a must have uh for anybody that who even has a hinge of love of hellboy this is the only hellboy we're going to be getting it's probably the definitive hellboy to have right now I mean, right now there there hasn't been any plans of making a sequel for that uh, for this. Uh, no, the movie was garbage, unfortunately. Yeah, so I mean, this is it, man. I mean, look at it. I mean, look. I mean, from the clothes is bendy. That the cape is you can. The clothes is bendy. Hell yeah, dude! You can sell ice to wire, Eskimo. Wired coat. Cool. <laughs> the clothes yeah, is bendy. Yeah, wired coat. Look at that. I mean, it's you can put him in some action pose. He's he's good to go, man. I mean, you got a grease up your body, here, dude. The body, and I'm gonna bring the body up. The body is something I'm really worried about because I, I do have the um, the Wonder Woman, and that figure is I don't pose it at all just because of the worry about ripping it. But mm. I do think that this figure has a better body as far as it's much more thicker than the Wonder Woman, so it can. Sustain. I think you know, Dan. I don't know if we've had him for a while now. Um, I, I haven't had him. I just got him in, so I don't know how long this figure can stay if you have an event pose like this, you know, with sword that I kind of shadow him for like a long time and it's yeah, fine. I mean, it's it's there, it's definitely it, it was a, it was a surprise to me, that's for sure. I mean, when I pre ordered when I saw the prototype, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it looks cool, but when I saw it in hand, I'm like, oh, this is this is getting up there, man. It's getting up there for the best one of the best figures of this year. What you got there, Austin? Awesome. You, yeah, you what you got there, Moss? On that body, man. What, oh, I know that. Uh, what's his name? Loco Lou showed that yeah. to me. You um, want that for any of those, those rubber bodies? Shinitsu grease? It's, silicone uh, grease? It's silicone grease. It will keep the, the body uh, rubber moist so it doesn't crack. Mm, okay. So, yeah, so. All right. So that would probably be good on, on Venom. Venom. Be good on Venom. Be good on Hellboy. Uh, I'd be good for my Pred Alien. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. rubs the shit to grease on Hellboy's but body. But does that does that it's Hellboy have more presence in this Batman though? Because I'm I'm looking at the two and I, I think my Batman. Mm, that's a good Batman. I know, I know that's is from that the Dark Knight. If I'm wrong, right? Is, is that the Ravenic custom one? Yeah, he has a custom. Oh, okay. One. Yeah, that's that's a really good Batman. Yeah. He's just yeah. so beefy. It's a tough one, Moz. I gotta be honest. Let it's me a bring tough you up one. on here. I mean, yeah, I, I wish I had him in focus, but let's see. Let me let me hide yeah. behind him, maybe. Yeah, you gotta hide behind him. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, yeah, that, that's a pretty Beautiful. good figure. I mean, it's a tough one to say. I mean, they're both great, from what I can tell from here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely uh, a contender if you put this guy next to him. But that actually uh, yeah. looks pretty badass, dude. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. It reminds yeah, me of the Dark Knight Returns comic book Batman. That's so, exactly that, what he's from. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the Frank Miller version of Batman, which I do love. If that Love movie it. was better, I would have bought a Hellboy van. But I, I just after watching that movie, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> "Here's the thing." And optical, optical, one of the best channels out there. He actually mentioned this video. If you don't like the movie, but you 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 can see the figures great, then just buy it. I I, I for like me personally, character. I don't care about the film. The film is a secondary thing for me. I'm buying it because of the figure. I I could care less about the film. I actually rewatched it. You know, a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. Wow. Film's not that bad. Are you? It's all right. People hate on it. It's not bad. I, I, I have um, to interject only, only be only for a minute, only just for a minute, because yeah, for on. me, it's 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 weird for me to buy a figure just for the figure 
if I have no frame of reference or a a a, a liking of yeah. of the franchise or the IP. Like for example, I I didn't see Alita. I still haven't watched Alita. I still right? Haven't seen that either. I just haven't seen it. I'll probably watch it. There's just tons of backlogs of stuff that I haven't caught. And then you're gonna up want on, the right? figure. And then I may want the figure. I may, but. I never saw it. And despite how cool that figure looked, I didn't bother. And sure, I could have spent two hours and watched the movie and then, you know, made an informed decision. Mm. But I yeah. didn't. So that's where I'm coming yeah. from. Like, even if it looks dope, I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I think to know. me, uh, I, the, root, the root hair. Yeah, I think that was the best thing. Mm, re- really, I, I I like the idea of the sculpted hair. I think that was the best choice because yeah, but she, really she's such a posable figure. When you want her like invert it and stuff, and you want that hair to fall over if you put her in that like that, that handstanding pose. Oh you want yeah, that, that would be kind of nice. You yeah, see the picture when nice. she's doing the handstand and she's got the sculpted hair, and the hair is just defying gravity. I'm like, ah, oh, that would that would irk the crap. The thing out. is, the thing is too. It's like, for instance, like somebody just mentioned the Captain Marvel thing. People don't care about the movie. Some people don't, don't care about the. They just want to buy just because from the comics. They have that yeah. reference now, too. I'm there. And, and, and here's that. the thing, right? And this guy, I to me, when I reference this figure, I think of the Ron Perlman version of Hellboy. I grew up with that film, so I'm like, you That's know what? Fair, fair for point. For me, Ron Perlman's like Toby Maguire Spider Man for me. That that's hmm. my Ron. That's my Hellboy. I grew up with that Hellboy, and I think of him. That, that's that's what I think. You know, it, it, it's it's not the same, but it is Hellboy. You know, and I could just look at that film like, you know what? That film was great. And I, I, I can see it as a reference to that. And it really just depends on the person, really. If they do love that actual film from, from 2019, which I had no problems with. At first, I was like, yeah, that's a horrible movie. But I rewatched it. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's just it's not the best film. It's like a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'll read it a 6 out of yeah. 10. So I and I'm giving Book of Boba Fett right now, but all right. right. Oh, my God. Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know Anthony, if you liked the latest episode, but I did not like that. Episode. I don't. I, I, the general consensus is most people didn't like it. I didn't get into spoilers. It was, like, spoilers it was tonight, like watching but... Fast and Furious in Star Wars. I mean, that whole y- y- yeah, so, I mean, maybe Furious like slow and timid. It, it was. I mean, uh... <laughs> that 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 chase sequence was so slow, man. I could literally run and just get yeah, the guy. It was, it was, it was so slow. Bad. It was like. Like on top one. of the fact that whatever, guys, it's not really that big of a deal. But like on top of that, Boba just lands. Anyway, so it's yeah, like yeah. on like with his jet. Like, why do they even bother? I, I don't know. But I, let still, me just I, get to this. Real, chase real, real, took place in in a senior citizen assisted community. Ch- yeah, it was it was not cool. Uh, <laughs> Braden was wondering if I think Django is coming shortly. Sorry, not sure if this was discussed. We we did briefly touch on that. I think Django is. Re- I mean, his release date was is for January anyway. So I think they're just timing it with the book of Boba Fett. Um, whether we see yeah. a little bit more of those with the flashbacks or not, still irrelevant because he's Attack of the Clones. But it's still, it still kind of ties in, yeah. you know, yeah. with 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 the Book of Boba. So I, I'm gonna guess bef- either before or right after the finale of the Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be out for shipping. I think uh, the only I, problem is, yeah. Well, I'll just say real quick: the Chinese New Year is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, because yeah. they're not gonna be doing much in February. What is it like? So if they do release days? them, it'll be like early March. It's like 15 days, right? Of just, you know, it's like the whole month. It's yeah. a whole month, right? So yeah, it's pretty much the whole month. Um, yeah, I I think we could possibly see a release with the time of the last episode of Book of Boba Fett. I mean, with these flashbacks, they're slowly hinting that we're going to see Django Fett with Tamora Morrison just de-aged, right? And then look what they did with the uh, Tamora Morrison the two pack with the Boba Fett. That second episode, everybody loved because uh, we got we finally got a an answer of why he's wearing the robes, and people were in love with it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it just because of that robe stuff. Now we got clarifications as to why he was wearing the robe, and now people are just like, you know what? I didn't like the two pack originally, but now I'm gonna get it because we saw it again. Actually, yeah, we brought that up. The throne does now after the show started. Yeah, it looks much yeah. better than the throne, in my opinion, because of that. And and yeah, we brought it up earlier that the two pack. John Favreau <laughs> was the one who directed <laughs> episode two. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. probably why it was like a ten. Or a actually, nine. I was I'll wrong it, about I'll that. I'll I was like corrected. Somebody corrected me. It was somebody else who directed it. Um, oh, John Favreau did not direct episode two. No, no. Uh, it was up here a little while ago. Somebody corrected me, and I don't remember who it was, but. I must have sure missed that. Well, it was a great episode, regardless. Yeah. 
I just, um, for me personally, the show, it's, it's very slow. I don't have a problem with slow shows. It's just this show in particular is just, um, there isn't much um, to get really entertained with. I mean, like, I love the idea of him starting to understand of him being the, what, what's the word? The dime, dino, dimo? Is it I know. Daimyo. Right. Yeah, the daimyo. daimyo. Right. So I like that idea. It's, it's a little slow pace. But when I saw Boba Fett in episode six of The Mandalorian, him kicking butt, those stormtroopers, I'm like, I don't see that in this show. I don't see that. I don't see you know, it either. It's, I mean, for I the one with the croissant, what was the black croissant? Mm -hmm. I'm saying Chris Chris Santon? Is that? I, is call, that him, I call him Brian Cranston. Uh, <laughs> black croissant. I mean, the black croissant. I could be right? even black saying him wrong too, but from the comics. Listen, but I'm gonna buy that figure. That that black. I get that. That that's sick. that's yeah. gonna be a day one pre order for me. Yeah, that shit's I just dope. Love that. I just love that. Right. Um. I think personally that where he was in the back that tank, um, you know, and then he comes up. I'm like, this guy's destroying freaking, you know, uh, Manda, uh, Boba Fett. And yeah, I'm but, just... but 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 well, not too much spoilers on it, just in case people haven't seen it. Oh right, yeah, of course. But I agree. No, you're okay. You're okay with that. I know, dude. I want him. He's a day one. I, I do oh, want to yeah. get to this though, real quick. The Star Wars universe says buying a figure from a bad movie gives executives the idea that the movie was good instead of bad. Merchandise sales informs yeah. the execs on whether the movie or yeah. series is good or not. Do not support bad pop culture just because you want the figure. I, mm -hmm. I agree with yeah. that. As long as you have, uh, like you were saying it, for example, like the Hellboy movie wasn't that great, but you like Hellboy and you kind of like, you know yeah. what's wrong? Yeah. Perlman in my head or the comics. You're just like, okay, the like comics Hellboy. for me. But I agree with, with Star Wars Universe on that because like there's a lot of things like. I mean, look at the sequel trilogies, okay? Yeah, I know there are people that are fans of it, but the majority, I don't even know. I don't know. It's got to be the majority. It's got to be the majority. I'm not trying to sound elitist on a soapbox, but I'm, I'm going to say the majority of Star Wars fans did not like the sequels. Yeah. And it still shows. You can go to Walmart right now, and there's still, like, a Finn sitting there for sale. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm serious. There's, they, they, yeah. they, you know, all the, the Phasmas and all them. They were all bargain bins. And this is just like Black Series stuff. I'm not even talking about Hot Toys. Yeah, the Hot Toys sat on the shelves forever, too. Still yeah, there's, there. still, there's still a lot of them yeah. on, on side shows. I mean, I got, I got, I have a local yeah. Walgreens here, and they, they do sell some Black Series. And I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I saw this Kylo Ren. Or I think it was a Ray. I believe it was, it was a Ray. Still sitting there. It's still Seth sitting Green there. Directed episode two, okay. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, things are. are the, the sequel truly is not a, a great taste in people's mouths. It wasn't for me personally. I, I love the character of Kylo Ren uh, and Ray. I think it's just the movie, the, the movie, the plot, and everything. Just there was a lot of plot holes. Um, yeah, I just I think you know right now the Mandalorian and everything OG, you know, realm is selling. You know the original. <laughs> stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that's their that's their you know um, target. When it comes to selling merchandise right now, it's the Mandalorian, the Boba Fett, and more projects to come. So, yeah, well, here's the thing, and I brought this up on a previous live stream that, and I think on others' live streams as well. I've, I've talked about this a lot, but I feel that Hot Toys is 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 um, I don't want to say they they have bitten off more than they chew, they can chew, but I think that mm. they're being forced to eat. If we're going to use that analogy. Right, because because yeah. because with Disney and the sh all these new Disney Plus shows and the movies between Marvel and Star Wars, that seems like all it is. Like we kind of you know we poke fun at them lately, and we're just like, well, you know, Hot Toys is just a a Disney distributor at this point. Yeah, y you know what I mean. It's just Marvel and Star Wars, and I think I think there's just so much. There's so many movies and shows coming out that they have to. They're kind of they're obligated. They have the license. They have to pay for the license, yeah. and because of that, there's there's this hand, there's a it's a two-way road, right? Disney's like, yo, okay, so we're putting out this new show. It's called, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Hmm. We want we want to promote this show. We need at least, you know, two figures from the show. And then, you know, Hot Toys has the the the, the, the their creative talent with that they, you know, as long as with their within the the boundaries, you know, the guidelines of, of what they need to produce. You know, they need to be movie accurate or you know, screen accurate, whatever, whatever. Right. Yeah. So they have to do this. So now they're now they're obligated to make these figures. Whether or not they're gonna sell or not is irrelevant. They'll still sell because there's a fan of something out there for everybody. But yeah, they have to do that now. Oh shit! Now there's Loki. 
fuck, okay, we got to make a Loki and a Sylvie. You know what I mean? Oh, now here's yeah. Hawkeye. We probably got to make a Hawkeye and a Kate Bishop or something, right? And meanwhile, you've got Star Wars. Oh, shit, now all of these Mandos. We're going to make all this Mando stuff. We're going to make all this Book of Boba. I need to make my Ripley a power loader. I know. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think there's too much There's too much for them right now. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's, that's as consumers, we're 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 suffering a little it's almost like we're oversaturated and they have to play catch up and speaking of the sequel trilogies i know there's still one figure still well if we're we're counting the jet troopers um kylo ren is still available at sideshow right he's still available at the cart he's still there now Mm -hmm. i recently i I was watching a guy i was still watching the live stream i was i put on mute but you guys were looking at the leaked uh knights of ren or not if that Mm -hmm. was truly right real, if it's, yeah, thing, it's right? probably fake but hypothetically if that was real you? if that's real do you guys think the kylo ren will sell out instantly because knights of ren is a part of with kylo ren and that whole thing we haven't really got a a huge well how, how do i say we, we haven't got a huge story with them throughout the sequel we didn't get any story with them yeah. <laughs> right because so, uh, they're just they're just spying on ray and Rise skywalker but all they did in rise of skywalker was stand around and look in the distance look at this yeah. they, I, like, it looked they, like they, they were building up to something with those characters from the yeah. force awakens then then you know ryan johnson came with his vision and that just that would that wouldn't well hell that i think that goes with that goes um, with every character in that trilogy i think they were yeah. trying to build up I thought Ray or um not Ray, I'm sorry, but Finn. I thought Finn was probably the most interesting and badass character. Same. Yeah. After I left The Force Awakens. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. I really thought that. I was like, shit, okay. This is a stormtrooper who's defecting. I love so that. The, the story the story there yeah. right there is already intriguing, and he can start on his own hero's journey that way. Then we come to yeah. find out that he's force sensitive, you know? Mm-hmm. And then he turns into a joke and he's a punchline. Yeah fucking yeah ridiculous and that so to me like that's why I, I don't i don't i guess yeah i don't have a finn character same i don't, have a Hot Toy of finn. I, don't. I mean they only made one or two actually they made two they made one with the stormtrooper disguise and yeah one. they had the two pack and then um, and that one yeah and it's just yeah. and that's what i'm saying with with you with, with with what you mean with the knights of ren it's like they looked cool i was stoked and then when the third one came in it was like they're like oh the knights of ren are gonna be in it i'm like okay but they didn't do anything <laughs> they didn't do anything so if if this show is real, let's just we're going on the hypothetical train here. If it, the show's real and there is some Knights of Ren or something, and then the Hot Toys comes out with them, I don't even care actually. Even if the show's not even real, if Hot Toys t- today just announces they're making a few Knights of Ren from Rise of Skywalker, it's gonna sell out. Color Ren's gonna go. I would just pick them up. Yeah, I would just pick them up. Regardless, just in that respect, because I have a Kylo, and I know that they're yeah. associated with him, even though we don't have any stories with them, you know. But it's still kind of cool. Yeah. It's still cool, you know, they're right? more like the yeah. the dark side knights, basically, and and you're buying it because of a cool factor. It's Star Wars, right? But you're just buying it because you know it, it will look good as a background character if you have Kylo Ren in front or something like that. You know, you make your own story with them, and that's how it was with Hellboy. For me personally, Hellboy, um, when when it was first announced or released, I didn't care about it, right? I was like, that's I have to figure. And then I saw Justin's video, and I saw Jitta's video, and I keep saying it, I saw Dan's video. I'm like, damn, this is not this is a nice figure. You know, it's, it's right. pretty good. Like, I've been deliberating over time, and I mean, it's it's there, man. He's he's a good stand, just a standalone character in the shelf. I mean, yeah, I don't regret buying it for sure. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean. I don't know, Dan. What about you, man? If if they did drop like some Knights of Rens, would you would you pick them up? Uh, honestly, no, probably not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm kind of done. I'm happy with my Ray and Kylo. Uh, yeah, I'm good. That's what I, have, I don't. Yeah. I don't think any. I need anything else from the sequels. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm good. I. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's cool. I but I would definitely hold my hope out for like something like Knights of the Old Republic or something. Oh, and dude. from from the Acolyte uh, show that they announced, that's what I'm. If they have something old like that, I'm I'm with that. I'm I'm past the, the sequel trilogy now, man. Yeah. Just, if it, if, it, if there is one <laughs> figure I want them to make from the sequel trilogy, if there's one figure, it's the Poe Dameron. I want a Poe Dameron figure. I don't even care about him anymore. I don't even. I'm kind of I'm kind of with really Dan on it now. But I would love yeah, if, if you would like him, I'm sure there are people out yeah, there that would I'm like Poe Dameron. Oh, yeah, I would love. Yeah, that. he's a collector too. He's a hottest collector. 
Yeah. Which is insane. Oscar Isaac, you know, he collects hot toys. So I'm that, blow up his insane. DMs, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll blow him up. Bro, you got Dark Side Anakin? <laughs> yeah, you got Dark Side Anakin. <laughs> I'd like, Selling hey, a reasonable price. Yeah. You got the money. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I it's 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 hard. Yeah. See, it's a, they fly yeah, now. I know. It's yeah. Yeah, that's but some people I know, I mean a Poe would be cool, especially if you're trying to collect those. I, I totally get it. And that's the thing with hot toys. They don't really they don't complete shit. They don't. No. That's the they problem. That's what I mean. They're, they're they're overburdened. Yeah, we find out just like our Justice League is already completed. So look, I the mean, only reason there's two reasons Justice League is is being completed. The one I mean, is the obvious one. Yeah. The course. Zack Snyder cut yeah. came to fruition. That was never an intended thing. Mm-hmm. The Justice League was done and over, and yep. Hot Toys moved on, right? Moved on. Yep. Yep. So now we have Zack Snyder's original vision in play. There is now hype, you know, right? There's there's an interest now, and they're like, you know what? Well, we already did the other figures, and we didn't. We don't have to rush production right now. Well, we only have to do one figure now. Like three years later, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, through their 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 eyes, production wise, you know, as a company, they're just like, all right, we got one figure to do. We don't have to worry about the rest of this line. Yeah. And not only that, they Plug did it. give us the black suit and a reissued Nightmare Batman. Yeah. 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 And it makes you think too, because that was the Nightmare Batman was a toy fair exclusive, sideshow exclusive figure. It's gonna be missing some things already. Right, it's gonna miss like maybe I think it's the base. That's the only thing. Yeah. The base is different, base. but it's right? otherwise it's a, it's a carbon copy of the original release. And like Gary says, you have to wonder. You know, you have to mm-hmm. wonder if they're ever going to because you know we're gonna get that Kenobi show, right? We're gonna get the Kenobi show. We're gonna see a flashback scene of Revenge of the Sith. Do you think we're gonna get a Dark Side Anakin, not the base, just a regular like you know those cheap plastic base they give us? You think it's possible we might get a two pack? Of him with a, a Vader or an Obi Wan, for instance. Do you guys think that's a possible thing we could see in the future? I don't see too many two packs coming out anymore, to be honest. It's going to be far and few between. Well, two packs yeah. in general are a little bit rare. I mean, they do yeah. them, but they are rare. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it like it is. They're rare. We get them, but they're rare. With right. that, I don't know. Look, if look, if there wasn't an Obi Wan show coming out then I would agree that we would probably see a dark side Anakin reissue without the base. Yeah. I would hope but so. now that we're getting an Obi-Wan <laughs> show, I think they're going to show us what's new. Okay. What's, 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 what's popping right now, right? What's, what's happening with this new show? Hey, have Hayden Christensen back. He's not just coming to wear a Vader helmet. Mm-mm. Okay. That's no. why Mando and fucking Boba Fett take their helmets off all the time. They're actors. They want screen yeah. time. Oh, okay. Wait. You can hire a stunt double to fucking play Darth Vader. Yeah. You know, yeah. so we're going to get something with Anakin, whether it's a half face, half Vader broken thing or not, or where it's yes. a two pack. Battle damage. I don't, right? Like something, That's right? I want. We're getting something. So I don't see them doing that and then being like, oh, well, here's a dark side Anakin re release, by the way. I just, I just don't well, see it in the cards. I mean, they could do it, they have the yeah. molds, everything, but. Right. But here's the thing, too. I don't think they should sell it by its own. They have to do it something. Oh, you know, if you want to get this dark tank, you got to buy something with it. You got to buy like a two pack, like a two pack or something that's like, you know, makes it like five or 600 bucks. Right. Vader, right? I mean, uh, the uh, dark side, um, Anakin. Look at, for instance, the uh, the OG Mando. They reissued that, but with the blurb. I bought that. You right? Did? You got, you're getting the blurb? To, yep. to, the getting him with the blur, even though I already have him. He was the first yeah. Star Wars hot toy I bought was the OG Mando. Oh shit! Well, look, I had nothing I'll, but I'll I had nothing you. but Predators and Aliens and Robocops and Terminator. And that was your first into Star Wars. And I was like, you know what? I love Mandalorian so much, and my my local store had him in stock. Actually, before a lot of people got theirs from Sideshow, I was like, you know what? Let's bring that home. And you, you know, you know, close. you know what? What about that that Mando and Blurg? And I'm going to get to you real quick about Mace Windu. I, I really hope he's coming, but I don't know. But I would love that. But with that Mando, the OG Mando, in particular, this this reissue with the Blurg, all that does to me, it, I don't know how I would explain it, but it almost makes me feel like at the end of the day, none of us really know what the fuck we're talking about. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. just going to be real on that because I'm I, one of them. And I, I don't, I, and I, I mean, I can, I can, I can admit when I'm wrong, but like for me, it, I was like, I, I'm not the only one, but I'll, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm, I was even the one I was like, dude, this is OG Mando. He's never going to wear this suit again. They're not going to reissue him. He's going to be a fucking grail. That's and then six too. months That's later or something, too. eight months later, they're like, here he is with a blur. And I'm like, and watch the fucking prices just tanked on that OG Mando. Yeah. But I don't you buy know, him for that either. You know, I don't buy him for what the what the prices do or don't do. As long as it doesn't tank below what I paid for it. I mean, and even then, I'm not planning to sell it. So, yeah. I no, mean, I, I, and that wasn't my intention. It's just in general, I'm like, if you want to get him, you need to get him. That was my yeah. logic. Because I was like, they're not going to release him anytime soon. Yeah. I'm thinking reissues are down the road or something, not eight I'd months later or something. Not going not gonna to come back. You know, we're not going to come back to that. That's going to be one that's going to be worth something i know he's been sitting around but he's gonna be worth something which one the best yeah. Armando? no the ig11 ig11 yeah that, that thing that thing that's I don't a know, phenomenal I figure that's a phenomenal piece and i know you're doing a giveaway too yeah, you're giving that away man yes when you hit a thousand i am giving that away today, subscribe today that's right. true i'm bad at that if you are new to the channel <laughs> please subscribe and subscribe to everybody here we already got Maz at a thousand, I, yeah, tonight, I hit a thousand so tonight, thank, thank everybody tonight. for going to subscribe congrats, to this channel congrats bro absolutely uh, everybody here's descriptions are not in the thing because this is a totally impromptu stream but <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to everybody here kg collector six scale reviews toku collectors on instagram you can follow them there uh yes i have an ig11 giveaway at a thousand subscribers um yeah. so please stay tuned subscribe tonight's impromptu but it's sometimes these are the best ones uh yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Uh, we're not sitting around so, scratching our heads going what do we talk about we obviously got stuff to talk about so right we're just kind of you know speaking uh star yeah. wars universe i agree hot toys is overburdened at the moment with mando boba series etc otherwise they would have given us a lot more original and prequel <coughs> trilogy hot toy releases 100 percent. we would have already probably seen uh a mace windu i know yeah. they're a little racist over there but i still think we would have seen one i still you know what i'm saying i think Again, it's just th they didn't know all these shows were coming, right? I mean, they knew somewhat ahead of time, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so much they're being oversaturated with new content. So yeah. what's relevant, right? What's relevant? Are you really going to bring out an old figure when Disney's like, yo, dude, what the hell? Like, yes, I'm bringing an we, old figure. We, we need to put out a Fennec. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, the third party figure, the chosen one third party anakin look the rooted good. hair looks weird but if you fix it i think it's all right i really think that's a straight rip off of the hot toys dark side anakin oh yeah you know, just mine's, uh, everything right they just ripped it off yeah. so yeah. you know what i'm saying they're not gonna uh, reissue yeah. dark side anakin this soon bro no way i don't yeah i just don't think no this way. soon because of the no. obi-wan show coming i don't think so no but when again you know yeah, which one the dark side anakin Wait, what? Oh, was that 2016? It, it, it didn't. Yeah. Was it before? Was it before Rogue One? Rogue Ones were all. Rogue no, Ones all it came was out after Rogue like, One. I remember it was after Rogue One. Was it I after? Think it was, okay, I think it was announced. Rogue in Ones came out oh, in like 2017. It was, it was announced after the um the regular Anakin, which was 2017, yeah. and then I think it was I think it was uh Torf exclusive 2017. So I remember, yeah, I pre-ordered so, it back then. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at a you know five years right and i think i think it's i think it's gonna happen at some point you know if that obi-wan show uh, show hits and we do see a flashback that will be an excuse for hot toys to go do it again but with 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 an exception of buying something with it right so but the problem with that is that they're coming out the clone wars anakin like soon yeah i, I yeah I, i'd say i I'd say that I think the earliest they might go for that reissue of a dark side or or the clean one or the good one, whatever. Uh, I'd say the earliest, maybe like earliest, earliest, maybe like next year, if that. But I could see that. Yeah. Fobs Figs, Fabio, but, what's up, homie? Yeah, Fabio. There's just, I don't know if you want to come in, Fobs. I mean, I'm two hours and 15 minutes in. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize we were going this long, but if you would like to <laughs> pop in. I guess um, can, um, you can, can pop talk about in. I don't know how long we're gonna go. I, I mean, listen, man, if you want to go for as many as you want, man, I'm always here. I'm, I'm here. I hopped in late, so I'm ready. 
Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I mean, we'll we'll probably maybe another. F- I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Gonna- I, I got to eat later too. But this is yeah. fun though. This is fun just yeah, shooting yeah. the shit. I was actually going to stop because Lale and 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 uh, Mario were doing their uncivilized scoundrels, and I didn't realize they had already started, oh, sorry, and we were already we were already, already popping yeah. off. So it's like, well, you know, that's okay. People people yeah. watch everybody, and we'll we'll tune in on you know right. the 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 whatever. What do you call it? The replay. You know what I mean, or something like that. So yeah. I mean, if if we're, if we're talking, I don't know if you guys talked about it earlier because I'm at, as you guys on mute, but I was watching it. Uh, no way home. You know, we're getting some no way home announces pretty soon uh, from Hot Toys. Um, what do you guys think they're gonna announce? I know, I think the obvious ones are Goblin. Goblin uh, for sure. I yeah, think that's but, just gonna be the first and only one for a while, and then they'll do something else later. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just a fucking crazy fucking announcement window for like. A week or two to start fucking yeah they, they, they just might like pump out like every single no way home announcement out of the same day just like you know like, yeah oh, no they're oh. gonna bleed it out they're yeah. gonna bleed it out because yeah. this is their new end game right now in that respect because yeah, marvel doesn't have any it. movies right now yeah. yeah um so they're gonna run this shit until dr strange yeah and i know a lot of a lot of people were complaining about if hot toys will ever do the classic goblin like when i'm talking when i, when I mean by classic i mean the Tobey Maguire version of goblin where he's just no. wearing all green no that ship sailed what no. i think no, no what i think they're gonna do is i mentioned this on the previous stream that i think they're gonna do like a ronin thing situation where we're gonna get that classic version but we can change the parts to make that new because it's it's the same armor it's the same outfit just with minor minor mm. uh differences with the hood the tattered, uh, tattered hood, uh, some parts, green parts around his gauntlets and legs. He's super dirty, though. Yeah, it could do that. What was it? He's super dirty uh, when he has like the hood and all that shit on. He's super like. Well, yeah, the hood, the hood's dirty, but I, the outfit seems the same. I mean, nah, it's, it's the same outfit. Yeah, no, nah, it looks yeah. a bit more worn. Like uh, I noticed. I'm, that that's what I'm saying. Like you can you can change the parts. You can change the parts yeah. around the armor. You know, you can just place it like a, it's like an Iron Man. Basically, I like the head sculpt where he's doing yeah. that face. <laughs> Oh, what? What? The many he does. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be pretty dope. After he I throws think. the fucking the, you know, right? Oh, he's like all maniacal like, looking. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to see that. I want that. That'd be uh, fucking incredible. Ladies yeah. man's wondering if you guys would buy a Danny Trail uh, Rancor Wrangler one no. six figure. Danny, that was a surprise, you know, cameo. Yeah, it it was. Yeah, I heard we're gonna hear a Snoop. We're gonna see Snoop Dogg in this shit, bro. I wasn't no, surprised dude. to see Danny Trejo. I was surprised to see him wearing a shirt, though. All right. I feel like that would be kind of jumping the shark, man, if Snoop was in there. Yeah, yeah I was just I, I, This is just rumors I've heard. I know. I'm just <laughs> saying. It would be like, I don't know. I think it would totally disconnect me more than the Power yeah, Ranger Biker it would, Gang. It would fucking destroy yeah. me. I'd be, because yeah, we already had the Power Ranger Biker Gang. Now we're going to see Snoop or something. I'd be like, dude, what the fuck is going on <laughs> with this fucking fun, show, fun, dude? Fun. Like... I just, yeah. I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, I just don't know, man. Uh, Toby and Andrew, Spider Man, Hot Toys, surely. To, I, oh my I god, I'm so. buying. I, listen, for me, I don't buy two figures at all. But I'm gonna buy two of the Toby Maguire figures. I'm gonna buy two of them. Just buy one Andrew because Toby Maguire is, you know, my Spider Man. So I'm gonna buy two for sure. That that's a must have for me. Yeah, I, they're gonna do it, man. I mean, it's. This movie made what one point something billion dollars in the box office. I mean, hot when hot they're toys still making like, money. Oh, it's it's making money, so you know they can go ham with this with this license, man. They could they could put out as much as they want. I mean, yeah, and Andrew and and Toby is it's 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 in the cards. You know, they're they're definitely gonna do it. Um, some people are saying, oh, they're not gonna do it because of oh, they might make you know the projects. I'm like nobody like hot toys has done this before, where like the the Shang Chi. They're gonna make the Shang Chi figure because it's from that movie, and they're gonna they're, when, once another movie comes out, they're gonna make another one. So yeah, but if, see how they're just making two figures for 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 Shang Chi. There's just only two because I think yeah, that's like that's all they need characters. to do. Like you, you know what I'm saying? That's because the, they have too much to do. Like don't don't forget the yester years when like you know uh, Captain America Civil War came or uh, not Civil War, oh, yeah. sorry, Winter Soldier. Yeah, Winter Soldier had like yeah. what like ten figures in that line. Yeah. Mm. Right, they they had a cap. They had a two pack cap. They had uh, Winter Soldier, uh, Street, Black Winter Widow. Soldier. Th- there was a bunch, but I, I there was a bunch. There was a. I'm just my. That lot. was my point, though. There was a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. They've definitely slowed down on releases because we have so many 
uh, shows and films coming. So they can only pick a couple. Yeah. And I think they've also learned a lesson as well, if you think about it, because when, when Endgame came out, they thought that, oh, if we put everything out, people are going to buy it, you know, because Endgame is Endgame. It was a huge right. movie. Look at it's dead stock right now. Everything from the Iron Patriot, you go to Toys One, that's 230. Because it took so long. To right, exactly. So the hype yeah. is died down. It's gone, you know, and now they're expecting us to buy it. Majority of people will, but I think majority of fans who... Um, watch the film or just like, yeah, I like the film, but I don't need the figure anymore. But was Iron Patriot in the movie? I don't remember. Was he blue and yeah. red like that? Yeah, he was blue and red. Like, he was barely yeah. there. That's he why I was tripping too. He had one scene. Yeah. So, because the armor I remember is the one before that, the Infinity War. Yep. I mean, that's yeah, the only that's armor the I remember one. seeing. One of the best ones for sure. Yeah, yeah I think the what Hot they could make him Star Wars Universe. From. You're right. I'm yeah. sorry, Dan. What? No, you're good. Um. I think what Hot Toys could learn is like maybe don't fucking prioritize like shit that like they just announced maybe like eight months before if that's what the route they're going. Like, dude, we waited fucking what almost three years for a battle damaged Iron Man. Uh Gamora was one of them too. Gamora was like yeah. two three years. Yeah, so like yeah, you know, and they got like Venom here, like out in like less fuck, than a year. Less than a year. Uh mm -hmm. same with a black and gold two Spider Man, like like you know. And yeah, those like probably aren't going to sell that well. I mean, well, Venom out. sold great, but yeah, it's just they should prioritize more. So, like, getting their shit out on time, then yeah, yeah. Shit, it's going to sell though. really fast. This, this is where they need to go back to, man. This and is I agree, man. dude. Mine too. Maz, I'm glad yeah, that let you me, let me bring up. Maz up though, but real quick because that I is mean, sick, dude. Yeah, that I mean, that predator figure is amazing, and things like that where Hot Toys, I miss the the standalone lines they used to do like from from predator terminator robocop and now hellboy hellboy is definitely one of them where they're not going to do it again and they're not going to do these predators again because it's not what people are talking about nowadays they're not talking about you know especially in the asian market it's not a huge thing now predator terminator that's a long cost thing now that's gone they're not talking well, about anymore. Now it's, Disney now owns their property, though, so maybe I'll get lucky. Could but do something with it. This has got a custom mask. This is not the Hot Toys mask. And the gun yeah. is oh, yeah. it looks different. Gun. It looks really good. Yeah. It looks the, the, the Hot Toys one was amazing. too small. His, his mask and his gun were both too small. Dude, Moz, what are those posters in the back, bro? Yeah, those are uh, some killer posters, man. Into the Spider Verse and Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters are they like. Uh, yeah, like those, this was um, the topic of the night, man. <laughs> are, are those like the. the like the electronic ones? ones? Sorry? Are those like the electronic ones where you can like change them? No, no, they're actual oh. posters. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. They look I really got Black cool. Panther over yeah. here, but oh, okay. it's not what it... Yeah, yeah it looks sick cool. back there. Boston yeah. IG 11. It will probably be IG 88, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I get what you're saying with yeah. that. That would be pretty dope. Cad Bane, maybe. I don't. But look, here's the thing, guys. Like, there's only four episodes left. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much they can really cram in, and especially if they're like 32 minute episodes. Yeah, that was bullshit. Like yeah. I'm sure there's a couple that are gonna be longer, but yeah. I don't think the next four are gonna be like 45, 55 minutes each. Yeah, I, I don't Dude, know. I, yeah. I don't know if you guys heard me earlier, but I fucking I pre-ordered the two pack from Sideshow because I'm thinking about canceling that throne piece, bro. Mm. It, I mean, I'm waiting for my my judgment for the end of the show. But at the end of the show, if it's if 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 they go down this route with the character and they fucking water him down like this, yo, that shit's I'm I'm, I'm canceling that, bro. Fuck my NRD. Yeah, out. yeah, I'm good. And the thing is too, the thing is too, when that figure was announced, many people were canceling their orders from the two pack, and <laughs> then once I passed on it, like. I don't like this two pack anymore. You know, it's just now they want. I mean, sorry, the the one with the throne. Dude, I don't. I don't want yeah, this throne. I don't. Anymore. I don't. And now it's. I'm waiting it's for my final judgment before I cancel it. But yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm waiting. But just if, wait. It's, if it's that I, bad, I ordered them both. Wow. But I'm I'm thinking about maybe canceling the throne one at the end. Of the day. Yeah. I think it's going to go. Doesn't right. pick up and get better. Yeah. Make him deserve that throne that he just went and took. Yeah. Right now, I don't think he deserves it. Yeah. Um, Same. Thing. I, I, I think yeah, that I could send my three ninety somewhere else. else. <laughs> that figure is going to go under price. I don't think that that that's going to go up um, once it's out. I think Toys will put them for like two ninety, two eighty. That's my guess. 
comes out. Yeah, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna be a, like a expensive thing there for. Uh, I don't know if I can wait till Saturday to unbox that thing, man. I want to take pictures of that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. I've been seeing a lot of photos. Of, I mean, that head sculpt is like Yondu level. I mean, it's it's really good. Really good. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean. Sculpt. Look, this uh, yeah, that's the other thing. When when Hot Toys does it, they do it right. And and and, and let's yeah. say not that I don't like Guardians of the Galaxy, right? So there's still a I wouldn't say there's a connection. Yeah. Right? There's not I'm not like bound to it like I am with Star Wars. But that Yondu I would still have picked up had I had the opportunity. Because mm. he's such an amazing sculpt. He looks so goddamn good that I missed out on it and I'm not I'm not one to rush and try to back pay for it because it's just it's not worth the money to me. It's just not worth it. Yeah. But with that said, it's like it's it's so awesome looking that even though I enjoyed the movie, I guess that's enough, right? That gives you enough uh I guess justification. If you enjoyed the movie, you can pick up the figure, whatever. Teach their own. But my point is is even though I'm not like super into that movie, I would totally pick that guy up. And he just because oh, yeah. when they do when they do these like like literal rail pieces that's why i feel that they are they're just so yeah. above and beyond that it's, it's 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 almost a shame to not pick them up i feel oh. that, and i feel that's what this two-pack is i'm gonna yeah. put some dirt on the table and put and put boba in his uh do the robe boba and do something similar to that picture i just linked you there in the private chat but uh oh let me take a do something like that but with the robe boba uh oh weekend. yeah yeah so, what is that it? would be I'll I'll pull it up here right now, guys, because this is actually this is one of my favorite pictures I've done recently, and that's that's yeah, all indoors is... with you know. This is oh, Moz's photo. Nice. This is his Instagram. Nice. Wow! So that's if you guys amazing. haven't already, Invader Moz Instagram, <laughs> Moz does a lot of badass shots. He uses a lot of practical effects as well. And that that uh, Mando one on the third one over, yeah, that's indoors as well. That's all in camera. <laughs> this one right here. Why is it so small? I don't know. It could just be my. <laughs> I think it's Instagram. My screen. That does that. But yeah, I, I actually uh, on my photography stream, which I do on Tuesdays, uh, we went over the this picture specifically how I did that one. Well, look what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna copy this link. This is spread the wealth night to Moz. We already <laughs> got him to his thousand yeah. subs. This is Maz's Instagram. If you guys yeah, like to five thousand followers, come on, guys. <laughs> Where, what are you at right now? What are you 41, at right now? Oh no, four. What? Why four, can't I see it? Forty-one hundred. I'm not even following you. I just followed you, bro. I've practiced yeah, what I preach. I looked at you, shit, but 4, I'm following you. All right. Yes. That might be why you couldn't uh, make it bigger. Maybe because you. I think. I think maybe. I don't know what the hell. Well, in any case. Moz does some dope ass photos. I've seen your photos before. Yeah, Follow Instagram if you guys really dig that. I love, oh, love that shit, dude. Hundred percent. Uh, yeah, links in the chat. Uh, let me see. Just kind of speaking of chat, trying to run through it here. Uh, Boba is gonna. I'm, this is what I'm afraid of, man. Boba is gonna ride his rancor while it devours all the pikes. I feel like that's gonna actually happen. Yeah, he's feeding the twins to the rancor. That's is that the spot? There and he's like, "I want to ride him. <laughs> Teach me how to ride him." Oh, it's very long process. Is that the spot? He's like sitting there wanting to ride the fucking rancor, and I'm like, "If he runs through the town, I'm most on a, on a to rancor." Up, I think we miss a golden opportunity to to do something different and bring a mythosaur. Have the 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 fat <laughs> thing from mythosaur. Yeah, that, that yeah. would yeah. actually Even be really I mean, dope. That would have been like real power from them because that thing's supposed to be extinct, right? And Mandalorian used to ride the mythosaur and all that stuff, and you know he wants to ride it. Exactly. I think the mythosaur would have been like the creature that they really should have. I mean, the rancor is cool, but I think they missed the opportunity to bring in a mythosaur. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what I liked. Sorry, I was I, was, I had a uh, text on my phone there. I liked that they at least brought in the crate dragon in Mando. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. In fact, I was just okay. watching that episode again today. Because I have to watch it's like it's like using mouthwash after you brush. You have to watch Boba Fett episode three. I was like, let me watch some good stuff and put me in a right. <laughs> well, it looks like you got some followers here, Moz, for your for your Instagram. Yeah. 
Definitely. Uh, I want to bounce back really quick here, back to Braden. Says Anthony is Django a possible Grail? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think he looks. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. And I don't like saying, uh, you know, I really don't like hyping stuff, guys. Right? I don't like that because there's others. Yeah. I know there's. I mean, YouTube's full of everybody. There's there's all walks of life on YouTube, and I know. There's other people out there that do want to hype every single thing. You got to buy this. This is the best. You got to buy it. And, and, you then, and, and then you're like, you know, then they sell it like a week or two later. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah. So I hate, I don't want to, I don't want to come off. I don't think anybody on the panel does. Like we're genuine. We love collecting these figures. Yeah. So when I say, when I say that, I think this is going to be a, a grail. I'm not trying to make you buy it. Like none of us get paid by these guys. We're not affiliates to sideshow or hot yeah. toys yeah. or anything. I do genuinely believe yes, this will be because I don't one. I don't think, I don't I think, think there, though. I think he's one they're going to the re-release him. Figures. Okay. I think he's going to. Yeah. He's going to sell out super fast. I would get this uh, ASAP. I think. Yeah. I think it's going to be limited pretty... the amount of pre-orders you can do on them. If you pre-order them, how many will you get? I think well, it's let six. Me try to, <laughs> let me try to pre-order it. I think it's unless you get six, then that then that means like they've ordered six. way more than yeah they've they've ordered way more than has been ordered so far. So, um, you know, you get time. Oh, I, I didn't I didn't hit the update. Let me see if I can actually do it. Hit update. Ooh, we bet to drop yeah, that seventeen hundred and ten dollars plus uh, <laughs> shipping and tax. Payment uh, plans. All right. Yeah, I think oh. it's going to be a, a another heavy manual situation where once he's announced, you know, I mean released. It's gonna if it's a if uh, if the heavy final. Mando, they didn't let, they didn't let you order six at this point. By this really? point, no. Yeah, yeah his heavy Mando was, was definitely really in a low run. Yeah. yeah. This guy's never produced. That's why I got a six. The a quantity cap is six instead of one or two. Mm. He's, he's a higher produced figure like Rex. Yeah, but I I think he's gonna be a one off. I don't, I just don't see them reissuing this figure. I think it's gonna be like oh, it's a one and done thing. Once to do, it, they're not gonna do it again. I, it's maybe like Dooku and Yoda, I think. Somebody just yeah, that's, 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 how, that's how I feel. I, it's like Qui Gon. We're not getting a Qui Gon. I mean, look, look. I'm not going to say never say never, right? Um, yeah, real quick though. So, uh, Soul Nightmare was saying Mythosaurs are extinct. The Mandos hunted them all. Oh, um, there, there's there's a huge universe maybe, out there. Yeah, I mean, maybe the, a collector like a Fett could have maybe had one. You know, yeah. could have had Alan Grant's team clone one, or you know, uh, right? Like Jurassic exactly. World, or whatever. <laughs> yeah so i mean look i'm just saying this guy is a grail and the reason why is, is everybody on the panel is mentioning i mean he is they're not gonna make him again and, and when i say that i i don't want to say like never say never right because maybe in like 10 years they might make him again right right we don't we know what's gonna happen in 10 years dude i just thought of this hold on dude what if you that head sculpt you can put it on the boba fett fucking you could uh, the, the 40th anniversary dude that would look so Ooh. fucking sick bro i've seen oh people do that God. with the cody head sculpt already yeah but this would make this a little more actually sense. like yeah this, this is exactly more like, sense yeah. yeah yeah wow yeah dude dude damn uh, it now you make me God think about buying it. two of them even <laughs> though tomorrow morrison is really shorter <laughs> than jeremy uh 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 dude they're gonna look so good next jeremy, to each other the dude they look good next to each other Man, I, Look, I don't know. You're right. You're right. You could. This would make more sense on a on a on a on a on a Boba, Boba Fett figure because that's his dad. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're they're nailing this the tomorrow Morrison sculpts. I don't I don't think there's anything to anything to worry about. How the I just really hope they don't change this prototype. Thank you, Jeremy Bullock. Thank you, OG fan. That was great. Yeah, don't oh, change. Yeah, the Jeremy Bullock, yes. I, I mean, this is it. Rango will still out. Yeah, like Ladies Man said, of course it's gonna be a grill. It will. And like I said, it may be ten years or so. You know, if they do like a you know, some type of uh, 50th anniversary. prequel trilogy type anniversaries <laughs> or something, then we may see it. But yeah. I mean, again, it's probably going to be at least 10 years out, dude. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the rate of all these shows and movies that are coming out, that it's going to be, it's harder and harder to bring older stuff in when there's newer stuff that's relevant in, in this, in the corporate world. So yeah. even, yeah. even if he does come out years from now, it'll be different. They'll do, they'll do something they'll you know they, they you know unless that's a straight up reissue it, it's been known to happen but yeah dude i wouldn't i wouldn't sleep on this shit dude if you like nope. if you like this personally are personally. you gonna are you gonna wait for sideshow anthony or are you gonna get this uh somewhere else this is a good question 
<laughs> Look, I don't. I know my answer. Oh, my, my back. I don't think I need him day one from from Hong Kong. Now, if yeah, I can, if I can afford it, exactly. Like you can afford it. You nice to... Are the only ones that order day one, man. The rest, I'm just letting them come in. So yeah, I mean, he's. I'll probably sideshow him, dude. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm doing you know, that with the two pack. I feel that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know, Kinky Sweeper. I mean, there's uh, I, that really just Padme and, and C3PO. Maybe I don't yeah. see. You know what I'd like? I would like a, 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 a episode one Phantom Menace, little Anakin with Jar no. Jar being two pack. No, you can oh, have yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'll yeah, take yeah. it. Come on, dude. If they dropped a freaking Harold Anakin bro. with a Jar Anakin's Jar. acting is ruining saga. I would still get it. I would still get him, dude. Uh, and yeah, Palpatine. Like whether he's, you regular, know, like clothes, like regular, like clothes. regular, normal yeah. senator clothing. And then, but that's weird, right? Because, like, do like, you really want a Palpatine, Palpatine that yeah. doesn't look like an emperor? But I would like well. the Revenge of the Sith one, though, where he's still, you know, like. Before yeah, Revenge of the Sith would be okay because he's all like, Ugh. and they give you two heads of power. Get, you I want them to make the, 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 the original Chancellor so that I can get a a, a Zod head sculpt. Uh, the oh. Terrence Stamp Chancellor. I want to get that so I can make a Zod out of him. Well, That's the only one I'm going to get a head a head sculpt a head sculpt by made by Hot Toys of Terrence <clears> Stamp. I think is if they make Chancellor, what's his name, uh, the one that Palpatine replaces. Uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, uh, but I would say, yeah. Imagine Dooku and Jango standing next together, looking badass. Yeah, I mean, finally, if nothing else, you you can you can you can pose that Jango. Lord. You know what I'm saying? With 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 Dooku. Dooku's just sitting here for me personally. Yeah, I don't have him posed with anybody. Man, give him a give him an Ewok or something, just so he's a friend. I know, <laughs> but he, the Wicket's with Leia over here, so I don't I don't know. These groups are so bad for my wallet. I talk myself out of so many. And then someone Nate says, so but imagine him nothing. with Doug and then my gears start turning. <laughs> well, it's, Nate, it's, so. it's true. We're I'm sorry, Moz. No, I, I'm, I didn't mean it. I thought you were stopping us. Sorry. I, I was just saying I gave Nate so much crap for not getting that wicked two pack. Um, oh, was, yeah. He was like, should I get it? And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> and of course, he didn't. And now he's like, it's so much. I'm like, uh-huh. Uh, uh, yeah, Matthew, I think that's the yeah, we were talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, Hot Toys is uh, totally, man. Either they're overproducing or uh, uh, maybe not specific figures. Um, um, now, some of them, yes, but I think they have so many properties that they're trying to bang out that there's. Yeah. it may seem like there's an overabundance of stock. Because yep. now I have, uh, or we have, I should say, as consumers, especially if we're fans of both Star Wars and Marvel, and a little bit of DC in there, but obviously not much. But if we're a fan of hey. all these, uh, no, no, yeah. I'm saying with Hot Toys, they ain't, they ain't putting oh. out shit for DC. That's but between true. those three properties, if we're all fans of those, then our our options are are much broader now. So yeah. now it's not a matter of oh shit, this Predator's coming out soon, and really not much else is coming right now. So I could totally grab that Predator. You know what I'm saying? For example, but now they're like oh shit. 19 Mandalorian figures are coming out and then yeah. you know uh, right did you see what I'm saying though so now you have like you, you you have to really okay I'm gonna grab this figure maybe I can grab this figure maybe I can get a third one depending if exactly. I had a good month or you know so now there's all these other figures that not everybody we're all kind of you know picking little by little so it may seem that way because there's just an abundance of releases so that's that's my opinion anyway I feel that man I'm trying to get rid of shit dude dude same right. anybody want some mcu stuff let me know yeah. anybody want a uh a force awakens kylo and a <laughs> uh thinking about selling my scarlet spider if anybody wants it uh oh. yeah scarlet somebody spider. <laughs> no seriously I, I might know a couple of people that may want that if you don't i don't i have them but i think uh, i know a couple that I'm have been looking for them too. i'm kind yeah. of interested I only have one yeah, player, KG's man. interested. That's a good figure. <laughs> it's a great figure, dude. I had him. I had him posed like crazy, and the suit just fucking heals like faster than anyone else. Dude, I'm uh, telling you, that thing comes with so many good accessories. I mean, oh, it's so good. Uh, I mean, you get yeah, a dope. You have the one I want. Ah. 
That's the only one I have. Fig Fate says, thanks to you enablers, I just pre-ordered Django on Sideshow. He's going to look great yes. with my Dooku. Hey, look, man, if you can swing it, that's that's what I think that's what we always say, man. And yeah. congrats, because I think he's going to be dope. If oh, you yeah. can afford it, man, yeah. dude, yeah. by all means. Yeah, uh, go for it. Sinister SMR, anyone have a snow trooper? No. I don't. Mario I don't. does. He's not with us tonight, but Mario does, and they're freaking sweet, man. And I really wish I had those damn troopers. Yeah, same. You know, keep your figures. You guys are still young. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're getting. There. I don't know Some how young I am. Up there. Uh, yeah. I think I'm pretty young. I think KG's younger than me, though. Let's just say I'm young. Spread out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in my 40s now, so. I've got yeah. some. I've got Anthony some experience. Are in the same boat, then. We're yeah, we're old school, I'm man. That's along, why we like. <laughs> that's why we like RoboCop, Terminator, Predator, Aliens. Yep. Like, come on, Hot Toys, bring that shit in. So, Dude, listen, I'm, real no, quick, bro. I'm gonna let you guys holler at this. I need to take a step away for a minute. Yeah. So let's see how this chaos ensues while I'm away. I'll be back in like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, Dan, you let said you just... needed the Spider Man. Is that right? Yeah, dude, I, I'm still looking for that guy, bro. That's the one I've been missing. He looks mm -hmm. great, but I was very sad with his posing. I was hoping to get more flexibility out of him. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. I, was, I, mean, I mean, when you when you pick up, you know, Spider Gwen, you could bend her every which oh, way. Yeah. Him, him That's how I feel like about Miles. Wait, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, Miles is another yeah, one Miles too. It's is, a great figure. Miles is incredible, dude. Yeah, I'm waiting uh, on uh, this in the Spider Verse Miles. That's the one I got. Spider Verse. Yes. Yeah. Maj, you picking up the uh, classic suit? That depends on the material. I'm going to have to wait for a review, man. If it's this kind of material, I won't, I won't get it because I want to be able to pose mm -hmm. it. I want to yeah, be able I got to it paid off, so I'll be throw it in the poses. I mean, I want it for the look, but right. if I can't pose it, it's pretty rubbish for me because I take the pictures with them, you know. Like, yeah. Well, Maj, are, are you are you a guy who keeps things in museum pose or? or does dynamic with a few figures with the with the with the shots i try to get as dynamic as i can but some figures work i mean like this guy's got least uh, less articulation than most of your mm -hmm. figures the predators he doesn't have torso uh yeah. bend at all uh Dude. he's got single joints you know for the arms and knees yeah so you can't get a lot out of him he's he's pretty much just a stagnant or maybe a leg spread apart and arms moved a little bit but so and then yeah. spider-man you know, he stays like this when I'm not doing anything with him. You know, just kind well, of well, the thing is, too, Moss, that is the first Spartan figure they have announced, right? So they have definitely improved in material and also in articulation with a few figures. And yeah, Dan, you can also go with that too. I mean, look at the upgrade suit. I don't know if you own the upgrade suit, but the upgrade suit it's it's a phenomenal figure. I mean, yeah. the choices of material that they chose, I'm telling you, under five, or even give it a day, it will go back to normal. Yeah. The suit will go back to brand new. So that well, class, it's, it's, I'm not worried about you know the because I don't keep it in the poses, and I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about just being able to get it in the pose. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm yearning for a, po a, a Spider Man. You can pose like that new guts figure, man. I want to be able to get that crouch. Mm, you know, yeah. Miles yeah, can do that. that more than any other Spider Man. I can I have Miles does the the perfect like crouch. Yeah, it's, yeah. I saw, it's I saw so the uh, the upgrade suit that 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 he can do the superhero pose. But he can't quite do the pow uh, the crouch because yeah, you know he he, can't. he likes to he likes to you know sit on his you know, on the, yeah, on the balls this, of his feet and, and yeah. I want to be able to get yeah. that That's pose, pose man yeah, yeah me too you Not can't even, even do that with the homemade suit either the homemade suit has the same issue where I, I want him to get that pose and you just can't do it it's just the way the figure you is can't made get the ab crunch you need to get out of it and you can't get the impact from the calf and the back of the knee no. that's 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 what's holding you back there it's not the suit it's just the figure the body you know. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but I something agree. that Guts I agree did. With that whatever, one. whatever they did to get those those knees, because that figure can do that pose, and that's why I want the Hot Toys to go. All right, what did you guys do there? We need that for our Spider Man. You know, I need them to call yeah. three zero up and be like, "What did y'all do?" With, Spider Man. Out, needs out, to of, really a, out of any of the figures, Spider Man should be the most dynamic, poseable. Yes. Out of all. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, to I'll me, tell you what. Um, yeah. Go ahead. I think ahead. Dan and Anthony. And me too, Dan, even Anthony and Dan have convinced me to pose my Spider-Man figures because before then I was just like, nope, it's staying in the museum pose. But I, after owning the Miles, I understand why these figures are so expensive. These Spider-Man figures are getting, they're climbing up because of the material of the choice. The material, choice of material that they chose is expensive. It feels expensive. And when you put it back into normal, it goes back brand new the way it was. 
And with Spider, you have to make that excuse to put him in a, a permanent pose as much as you want. With other figures That's like Hellboy, isn't yeah, like that. See, I mean, I don't even mind even damaging it a bit because it's a Spider figure. I'm gonna pose the way it, sh it should be. When I think of Spider, I think of him swinging or doing these acrobatic poses that he does in the comics. This I mean, so so yeah. toys dark spider that noir. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah, Spider Man noir. Shit. Yeah, well, so, that. and 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 like you can like. Well, okay, yeah. I just dropped his hand, but let me just give you a. <laughs> I got the. Well, they're little, not the uh, best uh, figures, minutes. but they're still pretty yeah. great. He's cheap too. I mean, a TNS figures has him for one thirty shipped. Yeah, I mean, He's like cheap. for example, I'm not even really trying to do anything right now. I mean, I obviously I'm doing something, but I'm not like trying to pose him, pose him. Yeah. But just as like a quick, I don't even have the right hands on him. But I mean, dude, like you can get him like really he's really easy yeah. to pose you know you know what i'm saying so you can do these crazy spidey poses with him a lot more like let's get his like dude look at that shit yeah like i'm not it's, even like i'm just testing something yeah i mean i have but the um, you see what i'm saying like he's yeah. freaking sweet dude i love it does, does he have the ab crunch to get his hand down there to get the that angles that you always saw mcfarland do where his hands i know you know, mcfarland's swinging. a little tough Swinging like if from, I get him you know, under, like if he's trying to grab, grab, like it yeah, just depends. But like, spider right now. <laughs> yeah. So like, you can kind of do like if I brought his hand down like this, sort of. It comes down pretty low. I mean, this is all mangled. I'm just trying to show you. Like he's, he's, he's not bad. Hand past his thighs and and like because that, that's that's the way my problem would do it. You know, he'd, he'd yeah, that is his, how like his swinging hand would be the one holding the 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 web and have it down between his legs and his legs are kicked way up in the air you know you yeah you can kind of like and i'm just kind of fooling around but like you see what i'm saying yeah, yeah. it just takes time you gotta you yeah gotta like i'm literally just messing that's with pretty him, like, close yeah yeah but it's pretty close and i didn't even really try like if i sat down you know wasn't streaming and like just worked on this guy yeah but what also this. interferes with and i don't know if that's just toys because I, I i know that's just but i don't know if they actually have this but that fat suit they have that fats underneath with some of these spider figures where they want you to get that yeah. muscle looking uh look for the figure and that's what's also hindering the articulation as well oh great uh, see so, i can get him pose like that if i hold him like that but you know i yeah. can't it, it i, I missed to... on that spider figure man now that's that's an amazing piece yeah but that's just, I mean, if you don't if you don't hold him there, he, that's that's as best he's gonna stay, and he's not quite there. You know, he's just yeah, yeah. Because you get to, with, with the hot toy Spider Man like guys, that. yeah, their legs will kind of you can. I know what you mean because I I know you guys know this because we pose our Spider Mans. But there's times where like you get him in that position, and it's you're so like sad. hell yeah. But what you need to do is like you take your hands, like your thumb, yeah, like maybe your middle finger, and you squeeze them together, and you're like right. there. That's exactly how you need to stay. And then you let go, and they're like. Bro. Yeah. It goes yeah, back, I'm right? Saying, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's just, brutal. It's just a collector that has a spider figure. That's what we have to deal with. I mean, yeah. even with yeah. Miles, it's an issue too. But Miles is a little better. It's more flexible. Um, than uh, Gwen, yeah. Gwen, you know what, Gwen's at the Miles material. I love Gwen. She's awesome. I don't own that. Gwen. Songwriters I'm asking me if the Tom Holland head sculpt that comes with the upgraded suit would fit on him. <laughs> Dude, I've never Dude. tried. Never. I don't have on, on the advanced suit Spider Man that I have. I mean, I have a couple. Do I even have a Tom Holland head? I do. I do have his. Oh, head. you do. You do. I do. Not with me. Okay. Well, I don't know because so for just I, I'll go get him if we want to. But for reference, yeah, you might as well I, get a figure. We're all bring our figures. In. He, he's got Damn. a. I mean, I really his. want to show this guy right here though. This is the one. Oh I yeah, I saw your video that? on that man. Now that thing. But was... I will. I will take a look here momentarily. I can't tell who that is. Did you guys see the six scale dark side? Yeah, yeah, dude, that looks pretty dope. That I forgot who made it. the The third party dark side. Yeah, that that's that, oh, wow. that's Toys Era. Toys Era was it Toys Era? Okay, they just renamed their um their logo just because of licensing issues, I guess. Um, mm. but, Soul uh, Nightmare's yeah. got a dip. Great talk. Great having Armor. a Soul Nightmare. See you, man. Soul Nightmare. Pick yeah. with the Throne Boba too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's mix to that. To stand here yeah the two packs definitely getting all the love let me let me be right back i, yeah. I let me just go look yeah go ahead 
but yeah, Moz, that that Gwen figure is probably one of the most flexible spider. Figures. Maybe it's the most flexible spider figure that I've seen. I mean, she can stand like this too. I mean, of course, I'm at the desk. I'm moving it around so she won't stay the whole time. Yeah. But this is the pose I've been keeping her at in my shelf. Look at that. That figure is just, it's mind blowing how great that figure is. I don't own it, but I would love to own it one day for sure. Well, I wouldn't wait because she's going to eventually be sold out and not be made again. I don't think yeah. they're going to make her for the second movie because I think they're going to have too many other new characters to make. They only gave us two characters from this one. So, yeah, I, I think, um, I think they messed out on, they should have announced that the, um, that the Peter B. Parker, the fat yeah. Spider Man, if they would have done that, that would have instantly sold. All of them would have sold because of those three trios from the film. But I don't know why. I'm hoping we'll get him with the next movie, though. I hope so too. I, I think they will. Um, but yeah, that Gwen figure, I, it's 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 the one of the best Spider Man figures they have announced or released uh, to date, for sure. All right. This is Real quick, let me just address that to <clears throat> single songwriter. Uh, as he asked me if that Tom Holland head sculpt yeah, would go fit. Ahead. Uh, but look, I'm going to have to get back to you on that, my guy. Cause I just went and looked at all my Spider-Mans. I don't have a Tom Holland head sculpt on it because I don't like him. So it's in a box. So it's in one of my bags somewhere. I, I dude, I have like a dozen Spider-Man and there's no Tom Holland figure, uh, sculpt on them. I have it. I have it. Now my opinion has changed since I've watched no way home. Yeah, me too. However, I just love Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Oh dude, I need like the Spideys like. But I'll get back to you on that because I'll dig through my bags and I'll pull out the head sculpt. I'll try it later. I'll Mafia. Let you know. Anthony, please tell me you got this guy. All right, who's I that didn't get Mysterio. There? I didn't get no, Mysterio okay. yet. This is uh, Jin Sakai from uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh. That's from the video game, right? The video yeah. game. Yeah. This is I haven't cool. played it yet. Oh, I've been meaning to, just never did. That looks amazing. Dude, the diorama base is fucking incredible. Is that a wired kick? Uh, yeah, all of his oh. clothes are wired. Dude, look at this piece of wood. Tell me that doesn't look like a real piece of wood. Wow, that, that does. Good. Like that's insane. That does look pretty good, Same man. Work. That's fucking incredible, bro. And then like this is, dude, this shit's heavy as shit. This is the base. Dude, that's sweet. Yeah, we don't what? get that from Lockboy's many. I mean, it's that. That's insane. This is the base. Yes, it's when can hit the pose, man. See, we should get things like this from Hot Toys, man. Things uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah. And uh, like would it be detail? weird to get Spider Gwen, but not the animated Miles? I'm getting the PS4 no. Miles. No, no I, you I get think PS4 you get what you miles. like. Yeah. Look at that. That's insane, Dan. Dude, that figure the looks details. sick. I didn't play the game, but that still looks dope. That's right up my, my alley right there. Yeah, I've been wanting to play the game, but I'm waiting for my PS5 before I go buy more games, you know? So yeah, is that yeah. a statue or a figure? This uh, is a Dan fig Single summer. I wanted to know. This is a figure, my guy. This is a. Who makes figure. this? Uh, VTS Toys. Mm. Okay. Dude, okay. This is diecast to armor too, right here. What? I, oh, I yeah. can hear it. I just heard it. Wow. Yeah. All of these are wow. wired. All of these are wired. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, Braden, um, yes, that is. It is from. It is from Ghost of Tsushima, um, dude. Uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but you see the you see the lines on the edge of the sword, like it's the real yeah. oil. The yeah, oil yeah. Looks, like how, real how it's oil tempered. There. Yep, yeah. dude. It's fucking sick, dude. Like, I have you pretty much have to like put the shit together, like in terms of like, you know, I have to stick the and, sword back there for accuracy and like. But dude, Dan, you know, incredible. this figure goes so well. You can, you know, you can do your own universe thing, but you can put this with a Batman fighting because you know he fights ninjas in the comics and the animated movies. You yeah. put this guy next or to you Batman him against Wolverine. He's got yeah. the whole uh, Wolverine too. Yeah, yeah. that could blend well. well. That's insane. Shit, man. I have yeah. not seen Witcher at all. Not even season <laughs> one. Me neither. I haven't seen it. So incredible. Uh, Watch Arcane first. What the yeah, freak? No, yeah dude. Yeah. So so okay. The MSRP on that, then, Dan. How much? How much does this guy run for? Guess. Uh, it's going to be cheaper than Hot Toys, so I don't know. You I'm would think say it does have diecast. It's yeah, about say um for the regular about two twenty. Uh, this okay. is the, the deluxe. I got this shipped to me for it was like three thirty or something like that. Mm. Shipped, like included. Shipped. shipped. Yeah, it's okay, that's 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 not bad, dude. I'm 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 not kidding. This base probably weighs about like five pounds. Like it's like three four wow. pounds. It's fucking heavy, dude. Like 
I don't know what. Yeah, man. I think yeah, it's, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's wild. I don't know. The the yep. figure itself is pretty heavy. Like it's worth it, man. I think it's totally worth it. And the thing is, too, you don't need to be a, a, a video game or play video games to know the character. People can buy this, like the guy said, Batman. Put this guy with Batman so versatile, you could put it with anything, like Wolverine, Deadpool. Box. It's hella funny. Yeah, like Deadpool yeah. and things like that, man. It's like it's so worth it, even though it's you know, yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, I basically, yeah, that's pretty badass, dude. You put it together I mean, like a statue. If Hot Toys would have made this, this would have been at least four twenty or something like that. That's not even including shipping. Maybe like yeah. five with the base yeah. and all that shit. Dude, yeah, yeah exactly. that's as well charge like for that. So all this yeah. comes off pretty much. You have to build it. That's fucking crazy. That's pretty badass, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. And uh, even even still, like I would use that base for photography. Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Let me let me full screen you real quick. Look at the details on this. This is just like the little fucking lantern. That's it's, like, yeah. chipped and broken. Like I just love the color on the leaves though, dude. Like it looks like a real Yeah, that's like, pretty sick. Because you could use that base right there, even without the flags, you know what I mean? Just the just the ground with the leaves and everything and the wall. And you can you can post some other hot toys with that and yeah, do like, just you can take some this cool off and like Dude. do whatever yeah you yeah that's insane. i love yeah. that yeah so it's all modular you can just switch out like the, the parts or what have you is there yep pretty much I mean, damn yeah. dude it's fucking that is pretty sick. dope i would um, get this before it sells out people well <laughs> while speaking of blitz is wondering where can you get it he missed that part yeah um i ordered this on toys wonderland uh not okay. sure if it's still yeah. there it might be on another place which i will not mention uh due to i don't want this thing getting fucking uh struck down but uh yeah it's another website that you know they sell these third party things so yeah. look around you should probably get it before it sells out though because i can imagine this thing shooting the fuck up in price real fast oh yeah 100 uh, percent. yeah and, and 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 just again in case anybody missed it what's what's the brand again vts virtual toys uh this is called the ghost of battlefield <laughs> is it, okay, is the it ghost of battlefield. Or is, it, is it licensed dan no, non-licensed no that's yeah. unlicensed brother oh, okay. <laughs> if it's the ghost of battlefield it's ghost of battlefield you know what i mean well, I'm not, i haven't played the game so i don't know the character's name okay uh, yeah no it yeah. just that's a play on the instead of the yeah. actual name you know they altered oh, okay. it um okay yeah like uh, like gambit you know the social toys coming in the, it's Cajun the Cajun car, dealer. car dealer Cajun car dealer yeah <laughs> I actually I'm get a kick out of all these generic names, bro. I'm not going to lie. Dark Spider. That's what I've got instead of Spider-Man Noir. You know, like... Night Vigilante. Yeah, my, my <laughs> yeah. Iceman's called Frozen Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, like... It's cool, though. Name, it's cool. I get a kick out of it. I do. Yeah. My yeah. collection's all over the place. I mean, here's my Megatron. My 3-0 Megatron. Nice. Oh. I wish he was to scale with my Optimus and stuff, but this is the War for Cybertron version. And I've actually had to rig that piece up with wire to get the gun on the back like the original G1 has. Oh, okay. Because it's, That's it's just slick. something to hold there. But, uh, right, just something to hold. Yeah. Damn it. See, I don't have any Transformers, man. So I got the a told me, man, the older Bumblebee ones. Wave, that's what I got most of them. And then they came up with his Megatron. I was like, he can kind of work if I do some forced perspective stuff with photography. And sure enough. Uh, right, just because the scale's a little bit off. Yeah, he's a little short. Yeah. He's some reason the scale's you, not the same. Third so party 44. third party companies, man, they're doing a good job. And nothing has really enticed me to go buy one. If, if there is one, it would be the classic goblin, the green menace. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. And that Miles one, has one. I know. I see Miles like, like, there. Dude, I'm telling you, it, once they release that Spider-Man classic Spidey, it's game over. I'm telling you, you have that's the whole models. reason I wanted to get the Green Menace, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, look at that. That's that, that's why I want to get it because of that comic book. Ac- look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me bring you up, dude. It's so good, man. It's it's really good. Let me see if I can get him up in the air a little bit more. Yeah. How's the body? Yeah, I mean, he looks. This dude is awesome. Actually, you can go back to my Instagram and you see some of the pictures I took with him if you want. So, yeah, yeah for sure. How's the body, by the way? 
Um, the suit doesn't let him get the full double jointed posing that he should be able to get because he's got a body that can do it. Right. But the suit hinders it. It's a thicker, like rubbery kind of thickness to it. So, do you think the suit's forgiving, especially the green parts where it's it's like that I number? I can pose them, but I can't get the double joints. It's you mm. might as well, they might as well use a single jointed body. It's how well his, his joints go with the suit. Interesting. Um, yeah. But otherwise, it's it's a beautiful piece. Right. Love that's it. why you need the that's why you need a class suit uh suit Moz, the classic Spidey suit to have this go pair I'm up with that guy. I'm telling you, it's it's gonna be a uh a sick display for sure. Yeah, I think we're probably like, all gonna get classic Spidey. Yeah, like that's, 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 that's what the classic Spidey's gonna be able to do. Pose. <clears throat> yeah, we, we shall we shall see it. That's, we'll see. That's we'll see. Yeah. So ready three right. hours. I know we hit the three hour mark, dude. So I think I'm going to call it because it's like I got to eat and chill. And this was yeah. this was impromptu and this was pretty long. But before we go, yes, Dan, I think I'm going to call it. But let's bring Dan up because he okay. does have Batgirl. Batgirl. <laughs> it's a great oh, piece. Yes. What do you think of that awesome. body, man? Because it looked like they made that seg segmented instead of uh, a suit covering. Oh, no, this is a full suit. All the way up, yeah. But the legs, right? But the legs are, the, are the separated. Legs, but the legs are separated. But but good though, articulate. right? Like you get really great poses with her. Articulate, dude. Uh, in my review, I literally did a one-footed pose. Like she can stand on one, like doing a high kick above her head. Uh, yeah, she can pose, bro. Uh, and it doesn't look too bad. I mean, she's wearing a black suit. Like from this angle, like it doesn't really look bad. The seam, just the joints around the crotch, would bother me. Yeah, I mean, like like that front angle right there, you can't really tell. Like once you have the legs, like I guess, like I had it in a walking pose too. You can't really tell because it, uh, luckily it's black. But yeah, once you start doing like the crazy shit, you can start seeing that a lot more. That's one of the things like, that turned me off of Venom is why I didn't buy Venom because he had that that crotch. Yeah, you know, but you can't. Yeah, dude, dude, Venom's so dope. You can't notice it, dude. It, it's so unnoticeable. Like it's all yeah. black, it's slimy. Just you, you just yeah, I mean, it's. I approve yeah, of the he's... second one, the new Venom with the uh, the Tom Hardy head sculpt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I hope Venom. it's an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> hope it's an improvement towards the the this you know the peeling issue. Right. But I also pre-ordered them because there's no deposit on them, and if they ever yeah. uh, if they announce the actual one that I want, the symbiote Venom, you know the the comic book version, whatever, then I'll cancel this pre-order and get that one because that's what I really. Yeah, want. of course, it's, that's it's the one you need to have. That's comic book. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, guys. Well, you know what? I think we're going to wrap. I don't know if I have everything on. I don't have my tickers on here on this one. This was totally impromptu. I think actually I kind of do. You know what? Look at that. Boom. Dan oh, yeah. and Dre, oh, six go. scale reviews. We're going from the bottom up. Tell us what you got going on All with right. your channel, bro. Well, uh, you know, I just dropped uh, the video on this Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, figure uh a boxing review so if you want to check that out uh yeah it's there um also did we have me and dre both did our uh collection tours if you want to see what i got in my collection um it's like over it's over between the two of us it's over 100 something figures so and then um i got something planned coming up because i am moving and i'm actually putting a lot of my mm. shit away so I, I decided to take this opportunity. I'm going to do something really cool. Um, I might as well just say it here. Fuck it. Um, I plan on doing like a little pose session. Uh, um, and it's going to be Marvel versus DC. Um, nice. All like most of my figures, I'm going to do like the main teams. Like I'm having my Justice League versus my Avengers figures. Like oh, um, yeah. it's going to be a little oh, hell video yeah. I do before I put it everything away in boxes and get them ready to move. Um, cause yeah, cause if not, I wouldn't fucking do it. Cause I don't want to deal with the hassle, but yeah. But, <laughs> right, but since uh, you're doing it, you're like, well, yeah, I might as well. It's a exactly. good opportunity. Yeah. Cause I'm going to just put them all away anyway afterwards. So that's why I have venom fucking just laying out here. Cause I'm like, I was going to put this guy away, but you know, earlier, like I had the idea and I was like, oh, well I can be, I'm going to use them for something real quick. And then I'm going to start. Yeah. Cause I got to get out of here in pretty much like a month. So, uh, yeah, I gotta fucking move quick putting these things away. <laughs> well, I see you got all your boxes there behind you. Well, hell uh, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, I got those. Uh, it's not gonna be fun finding the rest of them. Uh, 
but yeah, that's what I got coming up. I don't know when that's gonna it's gonna be happening soon. Probably gonna start filming it soon, but yeah, it's, uh, not too much. But yeah, thanks Hell for yeah. having me on here. No, of course, <laughs> yeah, man. man. Thanks for coming, bro. Uh, let me just go to Mister KG over here. Yeah, um, thanks what for inviting me, uh, just... Mafia. Of course, right. brother. Sorry for coming in late. Um, I was you know doing some stuff. Oh, not a problem. Um, yeah, uh, as always, man, if you guys want to find me on YouTube, it's KG Collector and on Instagram, KG underscore Collector. Um, nothing going on my channel right now. I'm more so going into streams from different channels, from channel like here on Anthony's. Sometimes I'll be on Will's, Lail's. Just love doing that right now. Just for now, it's not the time for me to do uh, streams. But when the time comes, I'll definitely get back to it. And who knows, maybe some more stuff like reviews and things like that. But that's pretty, pretty much it for me, man. All right. All right. Yeah. Well. Let and also got that up. acting acting stuff too, so I got that. Yeah, yes. you do you have stuff. you do have it. Uh, Moz, I don't have. I have to set my stuff up. I don't have a Moz thing here, but you know what? You guys already know. Those who haven't, Moz just hit the thousand subscribers today. Yes, Thanks in part for a lot of the right. viewers here to check them out. Appreciate Link it. is Appreciate in the chat right now to Moz's channel. I'm gonna put links in the chat for everybody here. Go ahead, Moz. Tell me what you got going on, buddy. Uh, well, this Saturday is my live streaming night at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to be doing, uh, we'll be talking about whatever Hot Toys has dropped or, during the week, of, as well as we're going to be doing a live unboxing and review of my Boba Fett 2 pack. I should have my second camera up and uh, up and running by then. So you'll have some nice close ups as I'm unboxing it instead of just seeing me and everything else out of the focus. So uh, we'll have that. And then Tuesdays, I have a stream that I'm just starting out on toy photography. And I work with Hot Toys a lot, but the other guests that I have on may not be using Hot Toys. They could be using anything. But we'll be just talking about uh, different tips and tricks of getting good toy photography results. So uh, this is something that we're going to try out on Tuesday at the same time, 6 p.m. Eastern. So Definitely going to check that out. Hell yeah, bro. And I'm glad, yeah. uh, glad you're able to pop on in, man. So it's good yeah, having you in. Yeah, having me. Thank you. Thanks for Ooh, having me. What camera are you using? It looks really good. Holy shit. Of course. Uh, this is streaming from my, my Canon EOS M50. With the 22 millimeter lens, which is what I just bought, is another 22 millimeter lens from my Canon M50 Mark II. He's using exactly what I'm using. Yeah, gotcha. Just to give you an idea, but I do. I did swap my lens. I I, yep. I swap my lens mainly because the way I have everything set up, I needed a wider. You know what I'm saying? I need. Yeah. To what, get what are up you there. running? The 16 mil Sigma? Uh, no, I'm actually using the the uh, the kit lens. The kit the lens that came with it, the the fifteen to forty five. Yeah, with it just it doesn't have so the just aperture kinda, though. You know, it, it's just such a dark. No, I don't have the aperture. Um, I can get kind of low, but I I don't. I didn't want to blur it out too much, so I was like, well, I guess it worked yeah. out anyway. Yeah, it looks pretty you good. It, I mean? it makes me reevaluate if I can get enough light to maybe go back to the kit lens because it does go down to fifteen millimeters and. Yeah, so know, it gives me that wider angle here, and uh, yeah. you know that, that that broader view for everything. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing around with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could go back to the 22, but then it'd be like hella bokeh out, and then everybody's like, what do you got back there? Well, so, I'm running at uh, 2.8, my, my aperture right now. Okay. So I'm at, I'm at 3.5 right, right now. Yeah. But, that's as low uh, as that goes. That's, that's as low as that one goes. So. Okay. Yeah. It's not It's not, It's not. not bad, dude. It's not bad. So, uh, Sean, Toku Collector. Yeah. What's up, bud? I'm going to full screen you oh, real God. quick, man. You just for some the people. lights for the detail, sir. No, I know. I know. I'm working on it. I'm waiting to get the some of those Luke lights that Anthony yes. has and all that. That's what I got. Yes, that's what I got too. Yeah. Is there anything going so, on other than? No, nothing going on right now. Just uh, kind of just uh, jumping on some of the streams with Anthony and stuff like that. And we'll be on like we tried to do Mondays and stuff. Um, but at the moment, I have nothing uh going on right now. I like the G.I. Joe masks back there, too. The Cobra Commander specifically is awesome. Yeah. I got those in. Um, not much, like, to fill in because I still got a bunch of other stuff that's on order and uh, coming in. Uh, I got a couple other figures that will be coming in pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, I just put those up there just to fill in some empty spots. Nice. 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 They look sweet, though. That Thank photography you, episode was Appreciate excellent, it. Moz. Single songwriter says. This is a blast, man. We had Jarrett, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Sir Dork 730 on Instagram. He was on my first guest. Oh, so, uh, I'll have to check it out, man. I've been a little bit busy, but I'll, I'll be to tune in. Yeah, I'm going to go check it out. Too. Yeah. Uh, Braid and Peace. Bye, guys. Awesome live stream. Loved it. Sub to Six Scale Mafia. Let's get him to 1,000. Yeah, I appreciate sure. that. We're working my way up. What are we I at right now? I would again if that would help, but I can't. 
I appreciate it. I'm at 811, so yeah. we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, Fig Fate, great panel tonight. Enjoyed the discussion. Listen, I there was a lot of people in here. Uh, ladies yeah. Man, Kinky Sphincter, Mark Prime, Single Songwriter, About Future. It's hard to go through all these guys. I really try not to miss people, but as you know, you know we got Fig Fate. I think I mentioned you, Blitz. Uh, just, I gotta. I scroll up and there's a lag here. OG fam, Star Wars, Star Wars, of course, Dirk Wright. I know Fabio's in here. Will was over here earlier. Soul Nightmare, uh, Braden. I mean, so many people coming in. It was cool, man. It was cool to have a, an, an impromptu stream tonight. Again, it was supposed yeah. to be on Brother Cousins. Please go check out Brother Cousins Toys Reviews. We were supposed to do best of the best tonight. He ran yeah. out of power. Uh, he needs, literally, he his power went out. Yeah. So and while that, he's he's waiting. Before you yes, let it off. You, don't you have a giveaway? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm about to tell I'm gonna tell mine right now. But I was just saying thank everybody and check out Brother Cousins. Everybody here, of course, as well. What's going on with my channel is I do have that IG eleven thousand sub giveaway. If you haven't already subscribed, please do go check out the the the, the first video I have highlighted on my channel. It explains the yeah. details. You really don't have to do anything. You just have to leave a comment on that video tell me one thing you like about my channel that's it you that's know it. and then when when i hit the thousand subs we're going to do a live stream that's going to be the live stream tune in on the live stream i'll pick a random winner on that stream okay that's what's going on monday is our main big stream that's going to be a huge panel i think it's full so it's going to be crazy and uh saturdays i do a posing review uh, with Mario from Collecting Weekly on my channel, where we're going through currently, we're going through the Rogue One line. We've already done Imperial Disguise Gin. We did K2SO this Saturday, and or this past Saturday, I'm sorry. And then this upcoming Saturday, we're going to go ahead and do Director Krennic. So it's really fun. We both have kind of a retrospective on the figures. We, we pose them. It's almost like we're unboxing and reviewing them right now together with the chat live so we can all talk about it. It's a lot of fun. If you guys are into that, come check it out. That's about it for right now. Uh, Boba two packs on the way. I will be trying to do a review as soon as I get them in. So look forward to that. Look forward to everybody else here out here creating content. And um, I can't play my intro or my outro. I have to fix it. So when I end it, it's going to end abruptly because that outro is flagging me for copyright. So I'm not going to play it. Mm. I got to figure out what the hell. 14 seconds. It's 14 seconds and they, 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 they flag me. Yeah, so I need to mess with the beat. <laughs> I gotta mess with the beat, bro. I want to play it. I want to play it, but we'll fix it up. We'll fix it up. So with that said, guys, <laughs> that's a wrap. You guys be safe. Have a great night. We'll see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in. You guys. Thanks, guys. Right. Subscribe.